sacrifice your baby. Okay. Done. <laughs> it's, it's been done. And it shall be. And from that day forward, the boy shall have no baby, for the baby shall be dead. And that's science, baby. That's I science, see, baby. Yeah. Can enter the realms that never knew before. Scientific science, baby. Trying to learn about the real science journals lately. Learn about the universe. Mm, tell me something new. Offbeat. Let me laugh to science. Give me beakers and shit. Let me be science. Mm, we're doing chemistry now. We got chemistry between us. Mm. Me, you and my penis. Mm. <laughs> Girl, you make me feel like I'm in school because I got chemistry with you. Me and you are like a school because we got history too. Oh my god. <laughs> American history. Geography. The geography of your body. <laughs> geography. Closer to you. Here we go. Look at the map. Yeah, the map. Look at the map. Play I'm about to build. <laughs> Runner up in your GOV. I'm gonna get honors in your school system, baby. I'm gonna be a Val star dick dude in that school. Salutatorian. There you go. That's enough school metaphors. Suma, Back to the side. Suma come louder. Right That's the yeah. one. <laughs> Valedictorian. Valedictorian. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I said, don't That's take my meant. jokes. That's my joke now. Don't workshop my joke. Make my <laughs> joke better. Now we can share the joke. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Leave my bad joke alone. Joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joke this is a hard baby joke. Bad joke don't take alone. my baby joke. Leave my bad joke alone. Leave it alone. Let it die. Leave it alone. Let it die. A bad joke alone. And it's, <coughs> it's my joke, not your joke. I'm not being funny. It's a bad joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put it back in the drawer where it belongs. Mm -hmm. In the miscellaneous drawer. Mm -hmm. The junk drawer. We all know what a junk drawer is. They're all junk drawers. Oh, my junk. That drawer. <laughs> all my shit is junk. junk. Like trash. That's scientific. It is possible to have a trash collection. It's a treasure to someone. That's what they say. Then from the grave comes out your worst fears. We're about to do a Lincoln Park song. <laughs> <laughs> don't know how you would end Yeah, I don't know how you go. What would Chester do? What, what would Chester do? WWCD. Summon him. Soul dance and breathe! That's good. That's, yeah. That's close. Girl. Yeah, what, uh, what's a Shinoda? Give me a Shinoda. In a basement somewhere. He's so sad and angry. He's sad and angry in his grandma's basement. What? I just said I need you, but you <laughs> Their raps are. It's a little sing songy. It's a little 80s. The one thing I don't know why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's on the vibe. It is the vibe. Hello. Ooh, 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 ooh.
it's us again. Yep. Always welcome to the 263rd episode of A Drink and a Joint. It's the boys. And tonight we're science boys. That's right. Sometimes we like to dive into the world of science. Sometimes we're science boys. Sometimes we're numbers guys. (laughs) Math bros is what we used to call them. Math bros, yeah. Or statistics bros. Stat bros is a good one. Yeah. I like looking at some statistics, you know, some charts. Really break it down know, for me. I don't need to know what they're they're saying, but as long as they're color coded, mm-hmm. I'm having a great time. I like the moving charts, the ones from over the years that show mm-hmm. the growth of things. You know, yeah, I like to see growth. Yeah, I like to see growth in my charts. I like data. Data. I say data. Well, they're different things. No, we we we've <laughs> discussed this before. I I use them for different. Things. I think I think that the, I think you say them differently, depending you, on what, the what do you collect. You collect data. data. What? <laughs> and what do you sift through? You like sift what through data. data. What? <laughs> Collecting data sounds right, though. Collecting you collect data, data. And, then you, and you send out data. You send data. You put okay. a, a data on like a. What are you studying? You study data. To, to make data out of. Yeah. So you, you, you come away from the data with your yeah. data. Data's been researched before. Data's been, been collected. Done. And you create data. Data. Data Wait. is a person. <laughs> <laughs> it's a highly debated topic, you know? There's there's tons of data on it. Yeah. 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 Ironically enough, there might be data and data on that. So we really got to check in. Date was Jimmy say data is it's for like, like phone, phone connection and you collect data. Collect I data. I data. mean, you don't collect data though. You collect data. Data. Mm. You would say you collect data. Hmm. You would say collect I, I've data. I've completely lost yes. both of the words. I would now research. That. You would data. research data. You re- yeah. You look up data. Yeah. But you collect data. Mm. Do, okay. So which one is the base? Is um, there an actual? We have the data is unclear. If, database. I really think <laughs> you check the database, but then you have to well, reference. What's in it? You reference the database. You put the data in the database. Right? Database. See, it's not a data. Well, it could be no. A there's a database. <laughs> yeah, they're different. <laughs> database and database are very different. No way, guys. <laughs> That was not my first word to you be put arguing data, with you. You put data in the database, but you have to reference the database to know the data on that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I need to collect more uh, data. No. Fuck. No. How am I no, doing? It's like left, data. right. It's like I. It's. Oh, uh, you're really so wrong. Right off. <laughs> Just, Just the one you think it is, choose the opposite one. All right, all right, all right. Going into right, the database. See. No. <laughs> no. The database. Uh, oh, God. Oh, my God. You dude. don't have the data. I really think. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you do it and embarrass yourself. Oh, so it is. It, it it looks like it's all the same thing. It's just a dialect thing. Mm, I disagree. What's the data on that? Because it's it's about that's all of these articles are about how you pronounce the word D A T A, so it's not it's not just have a different meaning. But you wouldn't call your dad data. Daddy. Daddy. Yes, Dady? I do. Daddy. Yes, I do that's call not, him Daddy. That's not a good. <laughs> <reference. laughs> your Daddy. Yeah, no, that's what you say. You say Daddy. 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 Okay, we can go into this some is Latin. Important. This important. is important. Well, I mean, come Latin, on, guys. A dead is it language. Or plural? What That's What do you guys question? say in the chat? What do you What do you say? Oh, if you haven't yet, hit the like button. But also, what do you say? Do you say data or data? Pa, yeah. Pause. Better. Give us some data on that. So dictionaries accept both of the, you know, both We're of the We're gonna start a poll. Day like D A Y day. Daity. Data. Yeah. So it comes from datum or Dat datum. One. So okay, you, know, you the, guys have a you guys I'm have a I'm picking the one that's the word. <laughs> data. <laughs> it's about pronunciation. Well, I it's not gonna be data. Watch. The data will be clear. The 
the argument isn't over which one's correct because the art that seems to be just how people pronounce it. The argument is whether to use R or is after it. Data R or data is. What the That's fuck the argument is that? that well, no, it would be da- data is, data is. Yeah, the, the data, data is. See what the data R? Yeah, the data that's what are. all the data are. That's what they're saying because it would be I've like had a, a plural. If you have a lot, if you have a lot of different types of data, you would say are you, the data would say are like a fucking seal. The data are done being collected. <laughs> no, the data the data is is done being collected. The data is here. Or this, I don't know. It says um, Mm-mm. dator. Yeah. And I guess it comes from a Latin thing, because datum was used with R. What in the, the fuck? Datum did, the datum The datum? Yeah. Singular. Datum. Singular One datum. datum. Huh. There's a lot, weirdly, a mm. lot of debate over whether to use is or R. Look at those numbers. So Look the at data that data. Is, the data shows the data, data. R or the data show. Data. See, there's many ways that you can say the data the, R the data or show. The, the data so, show. So you could say, so I think that that's where the or pronunciation the data shows. Was. I think it, it, yeah, the, so you could use data or data for data shows, data shows. Or show. But the the data is doesn't sound quite right. Or, or the, the data, data are. So Both you would say the data, data is. The data is. I, I can agree. I just with think that. it sounds better with certain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, it uh, doesn't give me hmm. the the wrong feelings. Yeah, it's, think it's the a wrong preference thing. thing. I guess you can you can change it up I, at will. So I we got data, data number data. one. Okay. Data. I like that data. Yeah, I've forgotten what I even was. <laughs> what was I? You were a data, data? guy. No. <laughs> Me? You were no. I was you were data the data. whole time. You were you data. Were, you were oh. hardcore data. Flippity flappity. <laughs> Get oh, it? we're getting a little closer there. Data. Okay. So wait, I was a data guy, right? I said data. Um, but, oh, but what was data. the character's name in Star Trek? It was data. Mm. But that's a woman's name, so data. It's a na- <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a woman's, that's a woman's name. name. Data. Yeah. You collect data, data. won't you, you know, data won't you blow. Data won't you blow. Data, I, I barely know her. I see, that's a good there one. There you go. <laughs> that, that joke lowers your core body temperature. Because <laughs> you cold, dog. Mm-hmm. Ice. Ice cold, baby. So we've we've done a little data of our own. All right, data we've collected. We've, we've collected. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say them both freely. And I just want to leave. I'm gonna leave endlessly. it up. I'm yeah. gonna leave it up. I'm gonna leave this up. We're, we're at fifty fifty right now. All right, most. we're gonna let it's people come in, and we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see what it is at the end of the episode. Um, Plus, we have so another poll. We need. We want up. the data to be clear. I would say data. Right now, it's pretty split. We're collecting data, <laughs> and we'll see what the data. See before we say collecting data. I said data. We're collecting data. Yeah. data oh, you yeah. said data to see okay. what the data will show. Yeah, that's what I prefer <laughs> too, but it's it's whatever. Mm. <coughs> it's up to your up to your balls. That was thirteen <laughs> minutes of that nonsense. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> you ever just like unlearn a word? Sometimes? That's kind of what we did. Just yeah, uh, you just unlearn a word by saying it over and over. I've again. I've never unlearned a word. I remember every word. Really, you've never said a word until it. It, it, it always makes sense. It's always just set in stone. About um, about hammer. Say hammer. Like yeah. Hammer say hammer, yearly hammer, fifty hammer, times. Hammer. 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 You don't even know what it is. Hammer. 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 You're not thinking about the. You're thinking about. Yeah. That word. You've said mammer. You said mammer like most of those. Never play it back. Ha- this was yeah. You, you started ham. going hammer, 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 hammer. Ham her. Is it ham her? I barely know her. Is it ham her? Hammer. Give her a ham. Ham her to death. I think it's hammer, not hammer. 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 Ah. Hammer. 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 Not ham. Get hammered. You're gonna if I had to pick one. Monster. Hammer. No hammer. That's some hammer. 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 Hammer, hammer, hammer. See, you're gonna lose. 
What's the word you guys just said a bunch of times to forget? Hammer, hammer, hammer. I used to do that when I would get all cross-eyed and I would go, is this life? And I'd look at the fan and I'd be like, is this life? Is this this life? real life? And I would just do it till I got real confused about what reality was. And I used to get, like I'd do it that. right before I went to bed. Yeah. Is this life? That's, that's, a, great, that's a great way to go to sleep. Well, just wondering what existence yeah, is. Yeah, I, I would just un I'd be like, what is this? What is life? What is this? What is this? what is chi- I'm a child? What is what? Oh. What is light life life? I'm just gonna get all my pillows and I'm gonna put one on my head, Liffy. one on each of my arms, I'm one just on my little, leg, I'm and just, I'm a robot. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> I'm a little man. I'm a little tiny person. Oh, that's my favorite. One of my favorite lines in uh, Bob's Burgers. Louise is. Uh, they've woken the children up. She's wiping her eyes. Oh, like, what is it, Teddy? We got. We're, we're so, so young. Yeah, I'm so. We're so little. Yeah, I love that line. That's such a good one. Uh, yeah, that one's one of my favorites too. I watched uh, Jenny uh, Jenny Slate. Is that her name? Yeah. I watched uh, her uh, her stand up special recently on Amazon hmm. Prime. How she was it? Funny. Yeah, I haven't she's seen funny. Her stand up, but. It made me have because she talked about her dating history, and it made me look up who she's dated. Yeah, Chris Evans was one guy. Yeah. Damn, she pulled. She pulled. She pulled, she pulled Chris Captain up. America, dog. I, uh, <laughs> okay, Jenny, funny. Yeah, I liked. Uh, she was talking about having a kid and then getting porn star titties from 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 having a kid. Yeah, she's like, I always thought I had nice ballerina, you know. And got juiced up. Small bees. And then I had these big, porny, not juicy uh, milkers. I don't know what she said. She said something like that. Milky knockers. (laughs) Mommy milkers. Mommy milkers. That's probably (laughs) one of the worst. (coughs) Yeah. (coughs) So I went went and saw our buddy Aaron today. He says hello and that he loves you guys. Okay. Um, I'd love to see him again. And he gave me these. Which are little little butt plugs for your mm. guitar, little three D printed jack? quarter inch to jack. keep dust out. Of yeah. It? Whoa. Okay. So you don't have to like fuck it a bunch <laughs> to yeah. get it cleaned out. Oh you yeah. Just, you just leave the butt plug in. Okay. Nice. So I thought that was cool. These little three D printed little little guitar dicks. That's nice. Oh, Zena made us a little poster too, which I wanted to tell you guys. So I wanted to show you. <coughs> The poster here. Pull it back a little bit. Trying to see. You want me to get you close up? Let me get you close up. Yeah, that's a little better there. So it's got um, me and Dave as wizards. We got a drink and a joint in our hands. And, you know, got our colors on us and shit like that. This, this is one she's been working on for a while. Um, and she's this was her, her original sketch for the mural behind us. We haven't gotten all the, you know... We can get some money for the paints and everything, but this will, it'll be something like this with kind of like a universe behind us, you know. And we were talking about where to put Houston in it too. We thought about mm-hmm. we thought about doing. Um, we either need you as another wizard somewhere in here, or a dragon, or, a or like cat. something. Magical. We actually said cat. We actually said you put you as like our familiar cat. Mm-hmm. We did talk about that. Something uh, something real nice, you know. But uh, what we wanted to do was just, to, you know, to some of the people that actually show up here, it'd be cool to do a little raffle and we give away like, you know, four or five signed uh, little drink and a joint posters here. So yeah. we'll probably be doing that soon. Um, be probably something, you know, you just like like and leave a comment and we'll, you know, put you in the in the raffle for it. But for the few people who enjoy this, it might be a nice thing. It looked cool enough for me. No, I love send it. Send off is something. And also like to do that more often. I'd also like to slowly start implementing um, giveaways every month for yeah, our patrons. For sure. uh, it'd be a nice thing to do for people that support us every month um, to give away uh, some, you know, we have, oh shit, we have a lot of old gear. We have a lot of collectibles. We have we have yep. a lot of shit. You that guys want to win some comic books and Pokemon cards? Uh, that's part <laughs> of it. Uh, we can also do music gear, sign stuff, uh, free shirts, hats. You know, we'll, we'll kind of go through the whole list of things eventually. But yeah, I'd like to start doing just a monthly one for uh, for our for our real rider dice. You know, yeah, we kind of pick one stuff. out, and so. Look so we'll, we'll probably do coming. like a version of giveaway for 
for you guys on the channel. Like some somehow you guys can we'll figure we'll figure that out. But we want to have like a care package that we give away each month. Yeah. Um and then also there will be something the Patreon members get bigger stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, so They're I'm not sure. At first stuff. the drawings will probably be for patrons. Because yeah. those are the real those are the real ones. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll we can move on to other things. But <coughs> just want to help you guys back and be cool to <coughs> give a little something back. <coughs> I like yeah, that and, idea a lot. <coughs> me and David have been getting back into collecting. We went to we had a McKay's trip together, a bros McKay's trip the other day. Where um so I, I recently pulled out all my old Pokemon cards and, uh, found, you know, I have a great collection. So I was just going through and I'm sleeving them and I'm going to get some uh, graded uh, just to get, get them moving, get some money out of them. And it just got me back into collecting. You know, it's, it's really fun. We're talking to, about starting a nerd channel. Yeah, we've discussed this too. At the very least, we will have like an eBay store to where we sell a bunch of the things that we find and collect and shit. But who knows? From there, we might. If we, we might if we made a nerd channel, would you want to? Would you want to talk? Would you want to talk? Maybe Game of Thrones. Some of Song of Fire and Ice. Yeah. Would yeah. you want to do some stuff like that? Ice and Fire, sorry. Yeah. So what? What would your format be if you were going to talk about it? Oh, just discussions. <laughs> I would just discuss some theories. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, what does JC say here? If he's, wa uh, he's watching all the old episodes. That's what's up, JC. He was listening to New Year's Eve 2022. So, Jim, you told everyone they got uh, they got got watching the channel under the guise of Grateful Dead content. And then Toby went off on some Mikey dude, which, which lasted from, from the Christmas <laughs> episode to New Year's Eve. What? So, you apparently, you had a beef with Mikey. From, <laughs> from two weeks. <laughs> so, two weeks. What was the older guy that we were talking to for a while? I mean, Mikey did call in. No, the one who, where we talked oh, about his daughter and he got pissed. Uh, oh, Anthony? Anthony! Anthony! That was so good. Yeah. It was so good for so long. And then it just <laughs> got weird. Oh man, I thought the Pokemon cards was a joke. No, it's not a joke. You gotta nah, do dude. stuff. You gotta do stuff that makes you feel like a kid. Uh, yeah, dude, that that has been fun for me to dive back into <clears throat> actually, because I didn't have a hobby. Every all of my hobbies I try to take seriously, and so I didn't mm. have something that I could just do for fun. We're and still so turning it into work. Yeah, we're, we're still, turning still it not in. doing yeah. that. <laughs> man, I I beat but, the trading card <laughs> game uh, for the Game Boy Color. <laughs> yeah. That was a fun game. No, I've got it. Dude, me and Zena played the card game the other night. We Just from what I had, I you pulled out and made together? decks. Yeah, we made two what decks. What was your deck? I had a... Did a, you stack it and just like and annihilate? Oh, yeah. No. Psychic <laughs> and Leaf. That, psychic and Leaf. Grass, grass Psychic, yeah. that's fun. Uh, who who are your aces? Well, see, I don't, I don't use like expensive cards. You know, I'm using like well, what, newer what are you cards. doing? You're just stage one in someone's death. You're just like <laughs> no, I attack you for twenty. Using like newer cards that like again have found. From, I've probably never seen them from packs or from McKay's or something. I'm pretty much um, exclusively Gen one through three on the card game. Yeah. Dude, I'll, let's fucking play some. Yeah, I, I used to go Pokemon. to the books a million. I can play. I, I yeah. can play today if I. Uh, I can play, I'll play you right fun. now. It, it's, I, no I, problem. I, I can pick at, it back up at the uh, books a million when I was. I know. A kid too. So you have to set six prizes, right? Yeah. That's how many you KO. You got five on the bench. He's not got this. No, I remember how to play, dude. <laughs> dude, well, you could do that content. We could have Pokemon just battles. A duel, dog. Just do yeah. it. That's Make cool. a deck. You would There's be... a lot of content on making decks and doing stuff like that. Yeah, I can It'd do just that. be some fun nerd side shit for us to have, you know, our own little hobby. Yeah. You better believe, yeah. You know, not as much pressure on it. Yeah. But Street Van says... Yeah, lately, I'm already thinking ideas of, like, I'm going to do an electric fire deck. Yeah. Yeah, dude, let's storm. set up. Let's set up. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. I'll whoop your ass get on my firestorm deck. Get into flames. some nerd shit with me. So yeah. uh, lately, I put together old Lego sets to sell, and it was fun. Made me uh, like them. Star Wars Lego sets. I've been making and selling. And bank them. selling them. I bet, dude. That's awesome, man. So you sell them already put together. Do you glue them or something so people don't break them? That's uh, I that think like what a, you do. Yeah, so they don't come apart. That's, I think that's, that's what pretty you do. fucking cool. Oh shit! JC played a books a million for Magic I, oh, and no. uh, Betafiles. 
I'm assuming that by I have all the Magic the Gathering cards from '93 oh, to current. Mm. Now, that's a lot. What that's I assume all of them. <laughs> is the natural project, uh, pro- uh, the natural progression is going to be me getting into Pokemon, then Magic because it's a more complicated game. It is the and then o- it just ends OG. in D and D, right? Like that's yeah. where the ultimate lore battle, yeah, kind of ends. So I, I, it would I, I probably will end up going that direction because magic's still collectible but D doesn't have as i like the cards and like the, i, I want to roll up some characters you kidding me let's roll up some D yeah. characters that'd be cool too to create um to create just about oh, eight different you put them together to make sure all the pieces are there and you take them apart again oh what the fuck i would never <laughs> oh shit man i used to go to the books a million for the pokemon uh league oh so he's buying old ones making sure the pieces are there and then mm. selling the sets uh, that makes sense yeah, dude. It's, it's I've been buying a so shit ton of comic books. Yeah, like David's been comics. making I'm... a comic store for sure. <laughs> like he has. He walked into my little I, basement apartment. I think when what we I going. said was Davey. Yeah. Or, Whoa, Davey. <laughs> <laughs> like Holy. I had a concerned <laughs> tone yeah. in my voice. It's everything. But no, it's so awesome. It's also it's just impressive. Or I didn't know. It, yeah, and that's why I, I didn't I was know it was shocked. like that. Yeah. Um, but no. It's <laughs> How many a lot. comics do you have? Uh, Thousands. Like, like almost eighteen hundred. It's, it's I don't even know what a hundred. I mean, they're all in these big. It's kind boxes. of fucking. Yeah, no, no. The uh, the the gravity of it's got to be nice. Just uh, that. Uh, ah, yeah. Feel probably feels good just to be n- near. It. Well, I mean, if it's and it's also a solid investment. Oh you can yeah. Always Flip like them, right. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, like when you're that's getting, how you do it. When you're when you're getting <clears throat> comic books for twenty cents that are worth three to five dollars. Yeah, and like you said, you can at least sell them for a dollar minimum. Make four times, yeah. if not five times, my money. Um, and I felt the same way. It's like I told you, I went. Easy. I bought my first new packs the other day. I bought three Dude, packs. What a high and, that is! Oh, and yeah. I, I pulled a hundred sixty dollar card out of a new pack, and I was like, "This is the gambling I yeah. like." <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, Zena calls it wholesome debauchery because it's mm. like still gambling your money for and sure. Gambling to, for babies. To, you're like what did they call it? Out, yeah, yeah, like, I was oh, gonna say I'm trying to find some. Parrish had a name for it. He called it something crack. Uh, cardboard crack. I think that's it. Something like that. I think that was it. But yeah, that's. The I love the idea. I love. Yeah, I like the idea that he would play shows with us and his car would just be littered. It, he would just stop over and just kind of get into opening some packs while he's waiting. Yeah, I like the idea that it is like nice. a crack. Like we said, we weren't going to do that on this. It is like a crackhead because you're 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 wanting that big win. Yeah, right. You know, same thing when you're flipping through. You're like, come on, baby. Well, give it's me like that well, because I'm also shit. I'm putting together like runs. Right. Yeah. So like, because I don't want to just they, they're worth like, more together. Yeah. Well, that and like you're also like you're you're competing with people that have the same products, right? There's a that the, the, every comic book they, they made yeah, a bunch of them. For the most part, there are the some co- that are even more valuable because they they did a limited run of. Bro, them. I wanted to I want to get the the armor wars. The or, armory? That? Sorry, I I don't know if I was misspeaking, but the, the armor the co- wars, the coheed. Oh yeah, the amory wars. I'm such an idiot. No, I, it's I, just it's yeah. a weird word. Okay. Yeah, so I was reading. You know they have uh, they Game of the, Thrones comic books, right? I've got them. You've got them. So they're graphic novels. Well, do you? They're have, issues. Okay, so, so they you, put compendiums together. Yeah, omnibus. I've got. Yeah, I've got the hardback. Uh, uh, so there's about seven for the first two books. They've adapted them into graphic novels, and yeah. they're in issues. And they put five issues together at a time. There's seven of them, so they're about 40, mm. 40 comics. Yeah, I like that's the idea what I've of got putting together sets because that's that's a fun thing I to found collect. A shit ton of Green Lanterns, Toby. Yeah. I have like an almost a complete run of Green Lantern from like the early '90s. For some reason, that was the always the character that connected with me. Green weirdly Lantern. enough, not yeah. after the movie. I hated the movie. Yeah, the movie sucked. Every Ryan Reynolds but, hated that movie. I mean, I did like the planet showing. Like, I did love all the other Green Lanterns from yeah. different universes, but the movie sucked. But I, I that was just my favorite. I loved the Justice League cartoon. And just the cartoon was dead. I was always with Green Lantern because he just—he's the manifester, dude. He can make anything with that goddamn ring. He's magic. He has to me. He has more power than all of them. He just, it just doesn't show it. Except like, his weakness is the color yellow. It's hard to avoid. Is the problem <laughs> there? It's not like Kryptonite where it's on a different planet. 
You know, yeah, yellow well, it's is from everywhere. it's from his planet. That's oh, no, the no, thing. no. It's not. It's not the literally the color yellow, but it's like the other no. power. Yeah, the other thing that can take it. Well, I mean, kryptonite though is like then there's a shit ton of different kinds of kryptonite that do different things. Oh yeah, the gay one. <laughs> there's there's one a gay that one. Turns him gay. It's pink. Yeah. Yep, the pink tonight. Gay yeah. tonight. <laughs> Yeah, that one was a short-lived. I think it was only in like one comic. No, it was a good story, idea. But. So wait, isn't one of the more, more recent uh, <coughs> Superman? Isn't he bi? Yeah, well, Superman's one son. One of them is gay. Superman's son is gay. <coughs> okay. Yeah. But wouldn't there all? There's gonna be a ton of gay Superman. If you're thinking about the, you know, the thing about the multiverse, yeah. yeah, dude, just going to town on each other. Yeah, just all these Superman, these gay Supermen. I don't think they're now. See, <laughs> what is that called? If you're <coughs> if you're in love with your yourself, <coughs> masturbation. Okay. Asexual, but if you're actually fucking someone else from a different universe, it's you. It wouldn't be you then, would it be? There's something different about them. They are slightly there's some, there's different special genetic about makeup. That one. Yeah. You know, he looks just like me. I love it. He loves jazz. He loves like big band jazz. I don't really I like that. I also love. That. <laughs> so you're not gonna be available this weekend. Okay. I, I'm gonna be fucking myself. <laughs> So I found a wormhole to another reality. Um, own butt. But I always hated Superman. Superman kind of sucks. I don't like the Boy Scout. I like, yeah, fucking, Mary Sue. like I also don't like Captain America for the same reason. No, Superman so- seemed like a whiny bitch that came here to like take up. A- well, I know it's whatever. It's, Boo hoo! Your whole on planet purpose, died. It's gone, but your whole planet blew up, and you're the only survivor except yeah. for your cousin. Sometimes, and he's so privileged, and he just thinks he's so much better. He thinks he knows what justice and the righteous thing to do is, and like no one knows that. Those things are still being debated. Yeah, like the, I, I there's love no finite ants. There's no morality that's hero. finite. You know, everything is up for debate, and like. I feel you like. would call Wolverine an anti-hero? A little bit. I mean, like, I love Vegeta. He's just gruff. He's not, like, he's, he's not... He's not you don't, never guy. been a bad guy. Yeah, you don't question if... You don't question his morals. He just mm. kills people. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's the same thing. Like, the Punisher is kind of an anti-hero. Okay, Because yeah. he doesn't really give a fuck. Well, Vegeta? Vegeta's an anti-hero. I but love then Vegeta. He, but then he just does a complete turn. And shout out Akira Toriyama. Shout out. We oh, lost a real recently. one. Yeah. Like two days ago. And that was the Dragon Ball guy. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty cool. So did he, he did all the comics or all the anime? No, that was Toyotaro. Okay. He did the comics. Okay. Just nice. Respectfully. Toriyama's the creator. Yeah. yeah. And he's like the original artist. Like he came mm-hmm. up with the character designs. His art's fucking amazing. That's cool. Yeah. To, uh, Totoro's good. Yeah. Oh, or whatever. Sorry. Whatever I said. <laughs> uh,. I I've been trying to keep up with it, man. I uh, basically I really fell off during the ultimate. I think it was the ultimate fighter one with a uh, what was his goddamn name? Granola. Granola fucked me up. I was just like, okay, I'm not. I don't know. Anymore. I didn't. I haven't done any of the new. Moro's stuff. good. I'm, Moro's good. I'm like an OG. Like I love just getting into super. Well, no, I don't. I, yeah, never I, super. Ne- I I've like never super. seen super. I actually liked it. It was cool. Dude, they so had a next many level. episodes of super. It was. Uh, yeah, it was I know that weird. there's a bunch Hundreds. of other. The story uh, yeah. kind of got lost. To Dude, on oh, I love Tournament of Power. Are you kidding me? The Tournament of Power was so cool. Sorry, I, there was one, I just remember super, there was like this no battle. idea what it is. There's oh, like this so battle sick. going on in the it's sky. It's a multiverse for, thing. for so many episodes. And they're just like hopping back to the other characters as this like ancient. Yeah, it's like going a forty-minute <laughs> fight free for all with like uh, universes. I don't know, like seven through eighteen. Apparently, universes one through six got just snapped out of existence, and the other t- uh, universes so are fighting what, for like uh, supremacy or to to see who lives. Yes. Okay, and then which one is are all of our people from? I don't know. I think it's nine. Actually, now I'm thinking it's something like that. Okay. The Universe Nine or something. You think maybe they would have done seven for the seven star? Well, yeah, I, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm not entirely sure. What, what, I forgot what universe. Uh, wasn't that talking. the star that Goku had? Wasn't it? Well, the, the seven Dragon star? Balls are unrelated. So this is like with Zeno. There is this like it's child called life. Super Dragon Ball. I, well, yeah, it? Dragon, <laughs> Dragon. Yes, yeah, Rock, Rock the, dra- the Dragon. I got it. No, but so apparently they were gonna. They announced but that they're no, gonna redo it and it reboot like, the GT. They were gods. Goku they child, even super. Saiyans Another at Goku that point. kid. 
Yeah, they're Doing gonna try it they're gonna try it again. What was the name of the like demigod they brought in that season though? Beerus. Yeah. Beerus is the destroyer. Point. So there's an angel and then a destroyer. Okay, so, and a so in the guy, new one, angel guy. Well, so they're buddies. Isn't they're, Beerus they're, purple. Be- yeah, Beerus. He's like a purple cat. Okay. And so like you have your destroyer of the universes, and then you have the angel who have to hang out with them, and the angels are all related. Mm-hmm. And uh, but they have to, so they, they pick a, a a person to become the destroyer of the universe. Oh, purple cat guy. Yeah. So yeah, and apparently <laughs> so, has well, a brother that's like in he has a fat brother that's the destroyer in the other universe. It's weird. It's so weird. And apparently the angels are way more like overpowered versus the destroyers. The destroyers are, basically when they they have like they have to find a new destroyer. You know, like. I don't know, but for some reason in the tournament of power, the one of the people competing is stronger than the the, the destroyer of that universe. Hmm. Jiren, yeah. it's just ridiculous. I don't know where the see. I love the endless power though. There's like always someone more. Powerful yeah, there's another every power level that Goku yeah. can. But reach. yeah, they put together a team, <laughs> and it's like a like a last man standing sort of situation. Super Saiyan God God. Dude, there was a robot sort of. They got together and made a super robot from one of the universes. It was kind of nice. It was nice. Love that. Got to gotta throw in your giant mech. Oh, yeah. And then they had... Your Zord. Yeah. Then there was an alternate universe with their Saiyans as well. And they did the girls fusion in that tournament. Okay. And it was like Kefla and Khalifla. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It was like cauliflower and something. Like, okay. They're, they're all named after vegetables. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. And then the, and I just got... That what broke the camel's back for me was when the, the introduction of granola. I was just like, "Fuck granola. these guys!" They were running to... out of names, dude. There's only so much food. I know. And then so there was a game in Japan that uh, that got popular that was like pretty much fanfic. So they had like a kind of I forgot what he was, but they 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 brought back the Uzuru thing. So they had the golden ape. It was just ridiculous. They. It, it's basically fan service. They brought back like the the Super Saiyan four. It's oh, like the uh, red, okay. yeah, red yeah, monkey. Red, yeah. Well, the red hair with the yeah, they yeah. were like still people. But they had the tail. They were doing. The they, yeah, they had the. They were. They brought the the ape thing back. Man, I no, but I was I was just like really, baby Goku. That was such a bad idea. Yeah, it they just cool had thing. the Gohan movie. That's cool. They gave Gohan an uh, a, an ultimate form. I think it's like a silver haired Gohan. I think it's called Ultimate Gohan. Oh. Or Beast. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Beast, Beast Gohan. What is uh what is he talking about there, Smugly? Talking about Omicron versus Superman? Is he is that spelled Omicron? right? Where's he at? Where's which one is it? Omicron versus Superman. I don't even know what that is. Not it's... Omnicron, no. I... Omicron? Oh no, he's talking about it's Tuft. Yeah, no, Tuft is the closest thing that George R. R. Martin has finished. I'm aware of Tuft. Versus, yeah, who is that? Oh yeah, no, Tuft or James. See, I don't like know. Closest, I don't know. Yeah, the no, I've read crossover. the the Hedge Knight series for sure. I like the Duncan Egg. So he's They're what's your favorite series uh, that you wait, found so, so you far? Got Omicron versus Superman rare crossover comic. Is it the Superman and Batman one? I saw. I think Earth. Seen. This guy's Omicron. <laughs> yeah, so he's right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Huh. Is know. it is it this comic book? Is it this one? Is that it. He's in there. Well, that's, no, that's what's all your, I saw. What's your I... favorite one? Your favorite comic to collect? Moon Knight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's your favorite Egyptian, superhero, you think? Egyptian stuff, right? Yeah, I love the Egyptian stuff. Yeah. And he's no, got and he's fucking he's got split personalities. <laughs> it is one of the He's coolest. tortured. He's yeah. tortured and he's got the power of a moon god. That series was the first comic or like first I do love that superhero idea. based series I'd watched in a long time. 
I was like that got me back into it. Well, I mean, like, and and I was kind of, you know, the the I liked the overall feel of the show because it reminded me of the Mummy, right? It's oh, like, yeah. but you can also identify. Around. He's such a fuck up, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's it, got a, just a regular job at a museum, right? Well, like, Stephen does. To this. His one personality does, and that's what's not the, even the what's main. What's the third one? one? The third that, one that is a dude him. named Jake Lockley. Yeah, they, so they introduced yeah. him at the end of the, the very end of the series, and but like, so they're they're running it a little differently. They're it's 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 a lot different from the comic books because in the comic books they get to a point where they work together they because he they're just different personalities that he uses to do different things right so like Stephen Grant in the comic books is like a billionaire he's like a Bruce Wayne type mm -hmm. so he's like he he's a he, billionaire playboy philanthropist and it like deals That's with like the best so he, thing to be what well, so he can get in with like the upper echelon and see a what BPBF. sketchy shit is going on up there and then Jake Lockley is just like a cabbie so he he deals with all the street level okay. stuff BPBP and the B, yeah BPBP a billionaire playboy philanthropist oh. um, take away the suit what are you and then and then Mark Spector is just He's he's the dude. He's an ex mercenary that did yeah. bad stuff. So yeah, that's the, the one that the he show, keeps murdering they, people. J Jake's, no, the, Jake Jake is the one in the oh, show okay. that like when they both black out, they're like, "Did you do that? I didn't do that. I didn't kill those people. It must be must be Another somebody guy, else, I guess." <laughs> yeah, I love that. Somebody else showed up, maybe. Somehow, there's not. <laughs> yeah, somehow Palpatine is returned. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? So yeah, I I swear, dude. Whenever like a like a fantasy or sci-fi thing is supposed to pay off, and I'm super invested, I always get disappointed. I was so frustrated when when he said that, dude. Like just the third, yeah, the the, the fucking Star Wars nine. You fucked me up. Yeah, I was so well, excited to see what was gonna happen. I had read all the leaks, like. Mm. Dude, uh, what was uh, the guy that, that, that left the project and they had to restart? What was his name? Ryan Johnson. No, no, no. Like the writer, director. The J.J. Abrams? No, not J.J. Abrams. They brought him back. Tre was it Trevor or Trent? Or oh, uh, uh, yeah. Colin Trevorrow? Yes. Yes, Trevorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you got one. it. You did it. You did it. Yes, Damn. it is. I was reading. Uh, <laughs> you see that I closed my eyes and went into, you went into like your yeah, brain. My though. eyes rolled back in my head. Yeah, you pulled uh, that uh, one out. Yeah, I had that's to go, him. Yeah. I had to go open the filing. What if that's your so they released his draft. <laughs> summon names of directors. Yeah, You're like they, handy on a game. They show. released his draft of uh, the the uh, Star Wars Nine. The script. Yeah. Well, was it good? It was. I, I it was anything better. was better. Yeah, <laughs> anything is better. But yeah, so there was like they were going to introduce a a, a a different dark sort of thing, and there was going to be a weird sort of Yoda situation where they had to help train them. You know what I mean? It was pretty good from what I read. I don't remember the specifics. Oh shit! We got someone saying something fun. Galaxy is nonsense. Space travel will not and has not happened. We live under, under a dome. dome. Truman, Truman Show. Flat Earth. Mwah. Damn. Yeah, you're right. That settles it. That's it, man. You nailed it. Space travel. What about time what travel? What the fuck though? is, is Robin possible. wearing? I mean, if you can't travel through space, what about traveling through what time? What do you mean, though? what is Robin That's wearing? That's a lot of leg on Robin right there. Uh, is Batman likes to see the boy's legs. What the hell is that? That's well. That's he's arm wrestling everybody. Yeah, he's arm wrestling. Oh, what's his name? On yeah, his he's. Leg. What is the stretchy man's name from? Uh, Plastic, Plastic Man. Sorry. Elastic Man. Plastic Man. That sucks. No, nah, that can't be it. That sucks. It's Plastic it Man. Yeah, I don't know. I would have preferred an elastic. It is. Elastic Man is a character. Look at those maybe, shoes. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they already took that name. No, you're right. That is Elastic Man. I was wrong. Elastic no. Oh, yeah. The Elastic Plastic Man, though. <laughs> oh. Plastic Elastic Man. Oh, plastic plastic Man, man too. Plastic so Man. He's not in... Wait, it is the same character. Man, I remember... Uh, hmm. No, they are different. The Elastic... The elastic I like that Deadpool game you were playing when you used to live with Hayden. Oh, it was, yeah, it was the Deadpool game. Oh. Yeah, that There's was... There's Elongated Man. Is that who I'm thinking of that's in the show? <laughs> what? No. Elongated Man, it's stretchy, but he's not the Fantastic Five one, right? 
Well, there's this. And it's Plastic Man. That's Plastic Man. I think okay. Plastic Man used to be the name of Elastic Man, it looked like, because the, the newer ones had him named Elastic, mm. right? Which one's the one I'm thinking of from? That's the, Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Yeah. Fantastic That's from the Marvel. Fantastic Five? Yep. Oh no! Four. Okay, we got. What's the, the difference? Okay. No, plastic. Ralph Dibney was elongated man. So the okay. one on the Flash was. One of the Look at the man. difference. The red. That's one. him, though. The one that I'm using. This one. The red. What's the difference between plastic and elastic man? No, it's elongated man. Plastic man was a crook who got doused with some chemicals and made him stretchy. Ooh. Elongated man was a hobby detective fascinated by contortionists and devi- and. Discovered that all contortionists drink gingold, so he drank it a lot and became stretchy. An elongated man, wait, was created by DC because so it didn't know that they had the rights to Plastic Man already. Because Plastic Man is hmm. older than so Plastic Man is is where, where's Elastic Man? Is that just there an alternate isn't, name? You were just saying that. You were just saying Elastic Man. Well, no, I had it under. I feel like, no, it said plastic and elongated. Well, it had it under one of the pictures of him. I know, but that's someone else doing the same thing. Just, are you, yeah. Go back to the, the Golden Age then. Elastic Man. Mm hmm. But that's the bendiest hero. Okay, so there is an Elastic Man. The Elastic Man, man yeah. but it's the same guy. Same guy? It's the same guy. Amory Wars. God. I'm I'm so confused. Maybe some different. Not that any of this matters. Yeah. God damn. It. <laughs> I really do just love shit. just the Coheed song. God. <laughs> every episode. This is twice you brought Coheed up. Dude, this, this is episode. pertinent. There's comics. It's not like I'm just talking about it. That time I just ex- meant I just couldn't not. Say it. You're just excited about it. No, I got embarrassed because like to be such a fan of Coheed and not. Be into the the full comic series oh, he's done. Shit. So this is what the comic book looks like, and I've never seen them in the wild. Yeah, no, like apparently when they play shows, he's got he's 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 got them on, you know, For on sale. sale. Yeah, that's cool. And, and they put together like, like, yeah, like compendiums as well. They'll sell like damn. There's a bunch. Oh, Boom publishes it. That's cool. Yeah. Apparently he started no, a I whole new one it, too. Though. I do love the idea, like having the lore behind the music. That's some shit. Oh, it's the be best. Yeah, I mean it's insane. Like I, I, I'm just upset that I haven't gotten into it. Medio Lopez, Claudio Sanchez. Yeah. Um, I just love that the songs like have like a story that they go through. I mean it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like that his comics have a soundtrack. It would yeah. be really cool if Fish did a oh man a game hinge comic. That oh. would be cool. Yeah, it's someone's someone's it had probably and sure they done had. a you know, and I really unlicensed. wish someone would go back and do new comics of dead tunes. Oh, that was nice. Together. That that's, was that's really a cool thing, the coolest. But I, I'd like to see someone try to weave more stories of a together, story yeah. through mm-hmm. them. You could write in between stuff that connected, you know. Yeah, but I feel like it would be used in a freaking court case. <laughs> you know? What kind of court case? Acid Small, dealing. Acid. Something. Drug dealing. Drugs. Drugs. Yeah. I wonder if they've ever quoted like uh, books written by people in Dead Family. There's like a lot of sketchy <laughs> info in there. Yeah. I bet they have. Dude, I wish that the dead had compiled their touring as well as like the fish books were. You know, it was insane. They they would like the the fish the fish books like talk about <laughs> what they did the day of the te- like they were playing in towns and like they would go to museum and reference museums and their set list and stuff. Like just the, the degree in which like their tours have been preserved. Who's doing all that? It's being published. I mean, it's like, insane. What's your, which one in the band was really into like having all the? I mean, was it Yeah, and why did Mike Gordon hate them? Well, he seems like a creep. Dude, we were hearing some new. We were new hearing info. some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, boop. He's a creepy <laughs> photographer, <laughs> man. <laughs> I always just I've heard rumors. We of, hear tell uh, him, mm. and I heard a lot of rumors of uh, was it Hunter from STS Nine? Was his name HP Hunter, Hunter Brown? Uh, the guitarist, about, 
Yeah. yeah, Hunter Brown. That's yeah. Hunter. That's another one that I've just heard over the years that was just really slutty and, and loves some college girls. and Oh, maybe Murph. Younger. Murph is the bad one. Okay, maybe it's just the Murphy. team. Maybe they team up. HP, I've never heard that about Hunter, though. Okay. I've heard that Hunter is really good friends with John Bell from Widespread Panic. He, that that semi-hollow was gifted to him by him. Oh, that's They're cool. both from Georgia. Um, but yeah, but tell, no, wait, Murph is a perv, is okay, what they so say. maybe I'm mixing them up. Murph there. likes some questionably younger girls. Okay. And it's always the base. <laughs> well, so like he got basically... <laughs> He had like sinus cancer or something, and they had kicked him out of the band, and then it got put on ice, and then they did it as soon as he found out he was okay. Yeah, and then that's well, no, when the girl from Sub ID uh, came in. Tell him what what about uh, Mike Gordon? Oh, taking pictures but, of that girl in the, well, the Hell's there's, Angels there's, thing. There's that, but we we heard that like at a backstage event, he was just talking some some mad. Just, just kind of over the line stuff about some young girls. I knew it. Yeah. So apparently, yeah, he loves some younger girls, and he he was telling a story about this dude basically like offering up his young girlfriend to meet Mike Gordon, yeah. and he was like into it. it. It just seemed weird. It seemed like he he's a perv too. Yeah, no, <laughs> I've heard about a bunch of uh, unsavory stuff uh, about Mike my- Gordon. If you're listening, and we know that you are. We know what you did. No, he does have a <laughs> We have. We know Houston has proof. Um, he does have kind of a younger face. I wonder if, you know, he sh- keeps, I, his, keeps his face shaved. And well, younger, he's just one of those ones that I feel like has contempt for his own fan base. And I, 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 I have no basis for this besides just random things I've heard him say in interviews. I like that. <laughs> Just Amazing. random little snippets that have come right out of his yeah. mouth. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, he, you know. I don't know. I've just heard some of the craziest bull stuff. I mean, and it might his halfway be funny. true about So have you heard anything he's written? Because he writes some, like, whimsical shit, kind he of. He does, yeah. And that, that was always kind of funny. Sweet and again, attract. under this, in this new light, <laughs> yeah. you got this baby face writing all this whimsical music and into younger girls, and now it all feels weird. Putting on shows at libraries like, at ta- 3 o'clock in the dude, afternoon. He's probably taking Wearing advantage. scarfs. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, <laughs> give, and throw some accusations. I think he's taking advantage of young tripping girls mm. and like you know acting like a superstar, the nerdy little. See, he's trustworthy. You know, He's like seen not assuming. Jody says he doesn't think him. it was malicious. He's just out there. But I mean, <laughs> I just heard he's a creepy guy that likes to take photos too. Photos of what? He's a creepy photographer. So maybe he was the photos guy who was what? documenting all of this. So, um, dude. So maybe I that's heard, why he didn't want to be documented. Don't tell people what I'm doing. I've been reading uh, the Searching for the Sound book. I haven't finished it, but yeah, I uh, I've been reading it for like. Eight months, man. No, like it's more like <laughs> second month now. But anyway, I'm like I'm like three quarters of the way through it. And uh, one of the things that he was talking about that I really was interested in was he outlines their involvement with the Hell's Angels, specifically Altamont. And uh, there was a few concerts that they put on uh, with the Stones, in which there were some really violent episodes because Hell's Angels were the security detail for these free concerts. That mm-hmm. they put together. Don't hire psychopaths as security. It's insane. Yeah. So basically, all the real ultra violent stuff was by, I don't know what you would call them. They're like initiates that were basically, there were no elders around and they were just basically people who are unproven, a bunch of unproven novices that were beating people up with pool cues. Yeah. That was their weapon of choice. Pool cue. Pool cue. <laughs> That's what they defended the stages with. But okay, so I'm just more comfortable. So I, you know, it's not a charge. So it's a I love, I weapon. love this. The he, he's an artist. That also came out around the time of the Me Too thing. Just saying. Oh no. No, they've been talking about him taking pictures of kids yeah. since like the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> since the, the whole time. Um, but re- regardless, man, sometimes the sometimes dudes are just. Like that, sometimes dudes like younger women. And yeah, it, especially <laughs> the, rock, the, with this, the rock and roll people are just perverts sometimes. Um, but yeah, you know they don't. You know. Where's the end of that shit? But okay, so this show that I'm I, I'm specifically speaking of was referred to as the Charlie Manson Love Slash Death Cult. Mm. Uh, Charlie Derby. Manson, I like the just calling him by a little nickname. Yeah. 
Well, the anyway, they just threw... hired the Hell's Angels, not the Grateful Dead. What? They all did. Yeah, so no, basically, the yeah, they were just so, working for all those. Bands. So okay, so this concert that I'm speaking of came. It came up from this. Okay, so the overt mission of them breaking, was to uh, breaking down fences to get in. Well, yeah, that's what they do. They just overwhelm. Them. Yeah, the yeah. security was. So these are not for these are not real concerts. They're free concerts that were set up in public areas that they would maybe get a permit for. Maybe not. They apparently would just show up with two fucking semi, flatbed semis or whatever. Sorry, yeah. flatbed trucks. Just scoot in, play the show, tear down, take off. Do that, and they would do that in the Panhandle. All the time for the first three years, sixty-five to sixty-eight. That's really they were doing cool. That I really want to. It's a way that. to throw up a festival and get the fuck out. That's what they would do, and they were. I forget, like there was there was some sort of weird, like weird thing with them learning how to ride uh, fucking horses with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I don't fucking know. So anyway, Rock School it goes to England to try to secure uh, a free concert with the Stones management. That mm. was his overt mi- his overt mission. The covert mission was to. Put a bunch of acid in London, which he got fucking pulled through customs, and they had to scoop him up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and, but the thing was, he did secure the, the free concert, but the Stones were going to basically play an American tour, wind up in California, at the end of the tour, play a free concert with Crosby, Stills, and Nash and the Dead in a park. Mm-hmm. That was the plan. Basically, as soon as they announced their intent to do it, Local, uh, like law officiates or whatever, denied them that. So they found the first place that would let them do it, which was this, uh, this car, uh, whatever the derby. Yeah, there was a derby track that they played at, and uh, like two hundred to three hundred thousand hippies descended on this roller rink. And that's what it was. And so it was a free concert that they just overwhelmed uh, the the city with. Yeah, it was a bad time. And for some reason, like uh, the the fucking London charter of uh, the Hell's Angels are okay, guys. So like Everybody's when they just more polite over here. I don't know, I don't know how that goes. So they, yeah, the, the, I think they were nice to the hippies because they liked their drugs. So like, that's why the Stones agreed to let them do private security for the show, and the the atrocities hadn't been visited at Altamont yet. But I do love that, like Altamont and Woodstock were presented as two sides of the same coin. That they were cosmic polar counterpoints. You know, you had this like love, free thinking, actualized community, but there's, and then you had this. They're still cannibalizing, it's like still an anti-government group. They're just kind of like on the other spectrum, other side of the spectrum. Yeah, there's just new internet. I guess at I don't the, know how that works. At the I end of the world, all of like the dude. I mean, the QAnon people and the street gangs are going to be on the same side at the end of the world. You know, it's like I, all of the subculture groups will come together out of fear of, of common enemy. Mm. Kind of thing, I feel like. So Cooper was saying here that uh, Owsley would even use them to traffic L, which I've never heard that. I assume maybe they protected them when they were on the road. Like maybe they they drove with them when they were moving stuff. But well, yeah, maybe just honestly, it gave them, them a lot of purpose. And also, the higher ups within the Hell's Angels were just very good friends with that community. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, and also probably through exactly the like so they, enforcing for like acid deals. Didn't they? Um, were they the ones that were notorious for like beating up pedophiles and stuff? They just do it to beat people up. They just yeah. they, they, they <laughs> beat everybody up. It. So like they beat pedophiles. They, they beat kids. Yeah, they you beat. Know, okay, so like beat up on everybody. This show that I'm talking about, like so. Since it was a free concert, and uh, it basically it, it got to be so big they couldn't pull the brakes on it. It's a free concert. People are already showing up. You've agreed to do it, you know? And uh, so when they showed up there, and there's no security for this. The only security they have is the Hells Angels charter that they paid 100 cases of beer to do security. <laughs> That's who's doing security. Yeah, so they're way and literally and angry. It's like fucking... So the, the, and they want to uh, fuck some re- hippies up. Dude. They want to get... You know how they did it? They, they basically parked their bikes as a barricade, and it's like, touch my bike. I will yeah. kill you. Yeah. So that's how they set up barricades was they nice. parked their that bikes works. in a in a semicircle around the stage and then whenever people got near them they just beat Man, them. Man, the, the show is so, like, so guerrilla style. 
The way if it, like thinking about the trailer and the barricades being a gang, and then people coming and so, setting up like a whole community for a day. Back. So what you're Get talking about? Yeah, he called. So the way Phil called it, it, it was basically this like four. It was like this endless wave of like good versus evil, like clashing. With mm. basically oh, we being bloody stage, still participating in it and playing music, playing for their life. <laughs> I would mind. <laughs> it, it, they're to basically <laughs> trying to throw them back with rock and roll, so they to quail the masses, <laughs> to calm them down. Yeah. Ideally, mm-hmm. to transform all this hate into love. Yeah, uh, I mean that's with what the I power want of idea. music. Yeah. So, but but don't play fucking Dark Star. The dead well, didn't I, play at all. Yeah, <laughs> they, it was too dangerous. Basically, they they were getting flown in on helicopters, and they couldn't. Get, That's so what? dumb. Yeah, That's yeah. So, dumb. so they all got flown into helicopters. They're stranded. They couldn't get out of it, and they basically were playing. Apparently, like, and, and the crowds are pushing up, and they're getting beaten back by the Hell's Angels. But they're trying to swarm the stage, and like, so you have a band playing for survival. Yeah, is the is the feeling? That's insane. Yeah, and so yeah, he and Phil swears that like there's never been a more uh, like uh, uh, characterized Rolling Stones yeah. set. I'd love also, to do a deep dive on the CIA's connection. We to, should do a video. Test. We but should do that's a also video. a sketchy video to do a deep yeah. dive on, man. To publicly put out not only we your, I, your, we play this interest music, in it. We well, play- it's such That's interest weird. in all the, the acid moving and all the, you know, it's like, yeah. and then involving a government thing. I don't know. We have to figure out what the end was, res- like what we yeah, want to yeah. find out. Before oh. we, because we can't just start and be like, oh, yeah. we got to shut this we down. Were, we were told to not <laughs> do oh, any more I don't know, but I'd love to do, I'd love to dive into that because I've always wondered about that. I've heard, again, just mostly rumors and random articles about things like that, about how it was initially started and they were allowed to and the acid tests and I, I just love to learn. I did read about the acid test, the book, but um, the electric Kool Aid. But it doesn't go into. Of course, it doesn't. That I don't. I don't know if I've seen that or if it's public it's, information. That's just more. That's just more propaganda. That book. Because it could be. You want to know the real story? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. It might not be public knowledge, or it might just be a conspiracy. You want to know? That's what one you can't really solve. Happened. Really. You want to do the research and find out what really happened? That's what I'm saying. If it's, I could tell you. To, for us to think what we could find it is to assume that they're not good at hiding it, and I think they would be That's, the best at hiding it. So yeah. I don't know. That there's, uh, I'm torn there. Yeah, just good luck finding someone that chronicled it like with any degree yeah. of accuracy. I feel like. Um, yeah. A lot of word of mouth. We were real high whole time. Yeah, I like everybody. The idea. CIA hippies, everybody high as hell. Yeah, or drunk off day scotch. Couldn't figure out you day scotch. <laughs> couldn't little office couldn't coke. You know, it's not. It's, I don't do it at home. I just do it at the office while I'm there. Fifteen hours, <laughs> <laughs> banging my secretary, <laughs> snorting whiskey, <laughs> <laughs> grabbing pussies. <laughs> yeah, just walking down the hallway. Fine. How do you do? Yeah, Mad Men season two, or whatever. Yeah. You ever seen that? You seen know. that episode? That, I've seen that one scene. That's the first episode. No way. That's the first. That's the first thing I ever saw it's when I watched jarring. Mad yeah, Men. Yeah, it's very jarring. Is him just? You will fucking, listen to me. Yeah. Oh God. This show's gonna be weird. Rape? <laughs> what the? If fuck? you were not a good-looking guy, this is a rape. <laughs> Still a rape. There, yeah, <laughs> Brad assault, Pitt. brother. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're Brad Pitt. That's assault, brother. <laughs> no, that's a yeah. That's something else. Then, <sighs> but yeah, I thought that was such an intro. So apparent. Okay, so all this carnage is happening. The Stones yeah. were played until like in the evening, and apparently the what kind of quelled the chaos was someone got stabbed to death. Yep. Ooh, okay. They, they didn't know that's what happened. Stabbing at Altima. We got a book recommendation of uh, Tom O'Neill's Chaos. I definitely got to check that shit out. Okay, okay, okay. It's very informative on the CIA's attempts to halt the hippie movement. Halt? Oh. See, to I stop it. We got to stop this. They're getting too powerful. Yeah, See, too I, conscious. Yeah. They're going to... They're gonna, my gonna, knowledge, it was, it was the other way around. There's too was, much long hair. They're trying to stop Too many CIA. exposed breasts. 
Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's too many. I understand a breast or two, but that many? Hundreds? Hundreds of pairs. I want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, Johnson. Focus up. Slaps him. Slap him. <laughs> Gotta stop thinking about those loose, loose boobs. <laughs> 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 boobs on the loose. <laughs> Get back to work, Johnson. I yeah. see you thinking about it. <laughs> hey, Johnson. Johnson, come to my office. They never seen anything like that. And after that day, they just wink at each other. And then, mm, Johnson, <laughs> I know what you're thinking about right now. Oh, mm. my God. Those loose boobs. Loose boobs. You like, you like <laughs> Santana? Do you? Bet you did. <laughs> Bet you did. Now, you rascal. Come by my office for a day with Johnson was never the oh, same. Man. Day scotch. That's the fun part. Snorting day <laughs> scotch. Uh, Snorting whiskey. I like day that as, as a cocaine. Where the day scotch being, yeah. <laughs> being cocaine though. Day scotch. We were blown on <laughs> day scotch. <laughs> and it's it's fun day. to say. So no, it's I good. don't have a problem. <laughs> having, it's fun. It would only be a problem if I wasn't talking about it. Yeah, so Which like, I am. so scotch at the office seems a little problematic. Day scotch, that's what it's for. Yeah, day it's scotch. literally in the name. <laughs> it's in the name, it's day. Not night scotch. I have that put aside. And sometimes I have a little bit of that in the day, but <laughs> only if I'm out of day scotch. Dude, I really, uh, <laughs> it's a rarity. I wanted to have mixers the other, like, I wanted to have mixers this weekend, but I didn't uh, go around. Mixers, what are we going to mix up? Palomas. Palomas. I don't. I feel like you said that. It's the that national alcoholic drink of Mexico. Okay. What was in it? Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. Yep. And grapefruit juice. Squirt. 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 Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. And what a squirt! I, I found from drinking those fruity poor, drinks. Poor that, kid generalizes um, a generation. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's I, from. It's the, almost like we're trying to be funny. <laughs> <It's> all, <laughs> No, but from getting into uh, fruity cocktails, I found that rum sits well in my stomach. Tequila, tequila goes straight to my head. Oh, it's like, I'm made, oh, I'm feeling so woozy right now. I'm Somebody give me a kiss or fight. Or <laughs> yeah, no, it's like it's it's not a good one. I like do we vodka gets me too sick. Whiskey's like a sipping thing, you know. You can sip on it a little bit, but that'll get you too. They'll bite you. I like but a little mixing, bit of dark rum it with some fruit juice. <laughs> Your body <laughs> like loves them. No, I meant all like, up. no, sorry. So I, I like a tequila mule. Like I like mixing it up. Okay, is that te- tequila and vodka? No, no it's tequila a and and ginger beer. Mm-hmm. Oh, with lime. Yeah, a little, What's a mule yeah. normally though? It's, it's vodka. Yeah, oh, but you don't, mule. that's what I'm saying. I thought you were you could have a whiskey mule too. I well, that's just a whiskey gin. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing a vodka mule plus tequila, just a instead, little flavoring. Yeah. No, you just tequila instead of vodka. Yeah. Vodka mule. Yeah, I just I don't know something about. I used to like uh, a uh, what the fuck was it? It's like simple syrup and mint and whiskey. What is that? Oh. I forget. It's an old fashioned it, or some shit. What is that? No, it's a, it's like a mojito julep, mint julep. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. Yeah, that's an old timey drink for sure. Yeah, oh, like I can't mint man, julep. Gin drinkers <laughs> too. Gin. There will be a mint julep for you waiting on the other yeah. side. Um. I uh, I always wanted to get into a mojito, but never. Yeah, it's, well, it seems like a pain in the ass to ask for him. Yeah, because what? Even at a fancy place, I'm like, yeah, it's like, do your job, bartend. Yeah, it's a muddle mint. Sorry to make you bartend. (laughs) Sorry to make you do your job. I'm not sorry. I want to You know what? This is why I, this is why I don't go through the self-checkout. This is job security. Mojito. The robots are taking over. (laughs) Sir, I'll make your mojito. Did you you scan that vacuum cleaner? Did you even study mixology? Sir, this is a brewery. We don't have yeah, shit like I love that. that. It's just like I like that bartenders just show up and then sometimes they have to Google what the fuck you just ordered. What the fuck? Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, what that is. Speaking on that, a lot of places don't make fruity cocktails, you know, because once I started desiring them, I found out quickly that a lot of places are just like, no, we have liquor shots and beer. I like that. Like, what is a fruity cocktail shit. to you? I uh, see a fucking Mai Tai. 
Um, okay. Something that's Checks I love out. some rum, some anything with like uh, pineapple or guava or uh, mango. Dude, I uh, some I want some islandy shit. I was good uh, to my body when I was uh, working at that <laughs> like restaurant. Dancing. <laughs> I would just kind of dick around at the uh, at the bar and help like wash cups and stuff and just ask questions and look around because I it's such a different realm for me and I'd pick up like garnish and I'd be like what the fuck is this candied blood orange with Earl Grey stuff on what what drink has that in it and you're like it's just a garnish I'm like for what this candied I'm gonna take a bite of it. <laughs> Ooh, it's not good. A candy, <laughs> like no, like you know, a you candied can. peel or something. It was so it was just like this sugar encrusted <laughs> fucking blood orange, mm. been dehydrated. And oh, just, oh, that sounds good. I know. I just bite. take a bite. Self yeah. checkout is a recipe for arresting you for a mistake. Exactly. All it was a mistake. Whoa. It was a mistake. Well, we should all try to steal more if that's the case. Because if it's just if you're gonna if have it, I will say that like. I get watched for a second. If I have a bunch of stuff at Walmart and I'm doing self checkout, they will watch me for a minute and then I'll like look at them. They're just, you know what I mean? They're like, yeah. you're like, boop, Are you boop. You I make just, it with your mouth. I, I've gotten to the point where it's like I feel like I feel like I got I got enough out of them, and I don't really do a whole lot there nowadays. No, so. I like the idea of going boop, boop. Making it with your mouth, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you could record the sound. Just go, you know. Oh, like you could have phone. it off, so you be like, boop, 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 boop. You can start like, yeah, you start remixing too it quick. up. Yeah. You know? Well, I think that'll be start more turning obvious. into a thing. It's if you're doing you it with do, your mouth, all you do is hold it where your hands over the barcode. And then play the sound. So the first time it beeps, you run something and you record it real no, quick. No, that's not how it you works, play it and dude. run your hand over they, the No, board. they're like, the, the computer now will be like, hey. It weighs too much. You no, it, you, too. no, it's watching you. It's watching you move stuff. And yeah. if you don't, if it doesn't register the thing you've moved it'll say, across, it'll be uh, like, hey. Hey. Saw that, and it'll it'll uh, <coughs> alert the police officers that are just chilling in a room. There. Oh no! The two weirdest ones. So we saw one on the road that uh, where they did the you put all your stuff in this little square and AI scans it mm, and yeah. hangs it up for you. So you just put all your stuff and it just knows what it is, and so there doesn't have to be a person there. I saw a weirder one at the airport to where like you scan this card when you walk in this grocery store area. And once you're in it, the camera <laughs> steal deli ham. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so this area was like there was like, oh man, like 50 cameras in this place, and it was all AI, and it watched you walk around and pick products, and it would put it on. Yeah, would just put it straight to your card when you pulled it off of the the uh, little thing. So it was no people running this little grocery store. God damn. I would yeah, just it was be very weird, weird on purpose. But, once you but walk if in, you just need shit, what does it matter? Is it not kind of a cool thing? Like, I don't know where, the, like, if it's malicious, whether, like, because it's... Well, no, it looked cool. You you just scan, go in, pick no, out No, but I know that people are just like, nope, this is the beginning. And it's like... It could be used for evil. It could be, yeah. yeah. Every Everything can be, be used for evil. A stick. Could be used for good hell, or evil. You can put up yeah, your butt, dude. or you can put up your friend's butt when they don't want yeah, it. Exactly. Those are two things you can do with a stick. <laughs> there so, are a lot you know, of other things. That proves but, every technology is going to yeah. be used for what it is. It's, it's, you accept I'm the just, evil with the good, and you try to kill the evil when it tries to get too powerful. You know, that's what we try to do as a, as a people. You know? Kill the evil before it kills us and keep making techno new technologies. I mean, I'm never going to, like, again, I don't, I, I'm i never <laughs> going like to, man, <coughs> I don't know. Because, like, you just have, you have all the people who were dreaming about what the future looked like as adults now. And you just kind of start making that stuff. We yeah. could be applying things in different ways, but we try to make science fiction reality. So we do that. We could be doing yeah. other stuff. Other what people we, do other stuff. What but if we it's imagine? Like, huh? No, but what do you think about the morality of like... We came up with the concept for artificial intelligence and then made it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
from thin air. That's fucking That's cool. psycho, dude. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, we thought well everything we thought of before we Yeah, but we did that. Reality. We've made things that are that learn. <laughs> We've created something that learns. Yeah. That's cool. And it's insane that we were just like, um It's a child. I have this idea. I know of, that, at uh, some time in the future oof. there could be some sort of robot. A robot with its own mind that a is connected human. to everything. And then someone well, we was like, I we could do that. We can actually let's do AI that. Is it's the crazy child how of humanity we the, created a, a new lasers. Being. The timeline's crazy, <laughs> man. You know, like uh, it's like a hundred years ago is was shit. <laughs> yeah, years it ago, was pretty bad. It? Yeah, it's yeah, pretty bad. Dude, far, guys. Let's it's just still pretty ourselves. bad in a lot of places. Yeah, not to, but but it, it's pretty telescopic, man. I mean, it, you yeah. tell me I could have had a smart TV in the in the eighties. That's crazy. You just, we just didn't know how to use them. We didn't have a need hadn't for thought them. of that yet. You know, we had to think of TVs first, and then and to introduce TVs, all that stuff. Yeah. Also, Wi-Fi TVs. What? Are we, what are like, we how do far do you think we are behind what we know? Because I know, like, for war reasons, the you know, like all, all the highest technologies are kept to everyone's government. So, like, the, we're at least a few years behind. But how far do you think it is? Like, do you think we're like 15 years behind technology that we already know how to use? Probably something like that. Like, that's wild. That f It'll take 15 years to know what you could have known today if you were in a different position. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, like, the, the thing that always got me was, remember when Joseph was on here and he told us about that one weapon that would just vaporize you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just turns you into nothing? Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's some wild shit like that. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was reading about just random stuff like sketchy experimental <laughs> technologies. Like Russia had put a satellite that was potentially like a nuclear thing that could nuke other satellites and like okay, potentially knock the internet nuke. off a uh, off for a country. Or that something. that is some villainous shit. That is we're in the narcissist uncanny shit. valley. Um, That's an interesting string of words. The Narcissist Uncanny, Uncanny Valley. Valley. I'm going to name my next album Narcissist I'm gonna name Uncanny Valley. My kid Valley. Narcissist, Narcissist <laughs> Uncanny Valley. The gay bomb, yeah. Um, Wait till they drop the gay bomb. Oh, man. You dropped the gay bomb on me. <laughs> gay you bomb is kind of acid. Because it made everyone just like sexually fluent for a long time mm. when everyone was taking too much of it. it no, we know, no, morality. we know what the uncanny valley is. Did you just say is. sexuality <laughs> fluent? What was, what was, you made people fluent in sexuality? Like people haven't been that free and experimental publicly before until like. LSD was introduced, right? Unless we're going wait, unless we're going to yeah, I'm just society. really a sexual savant. Okay, so we okay, so uh, they dug it up from the <laughs> deserts of the Middle East. Computers existed in the ancient past. Okay, so I if like you if theory. you take the idea that there's been a bunch of other like actual advanced civilizations that human beings have been a part of that have been wiped out for one reason or another, if you go from that 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 idea. Then yeah, they would have had their form of advanced technology, but we still, even Computers if there were just stories of it, we still figured it out. We right. were still like, hey, this idea, In and then mind, made it happen. Had, that doesn't. That's not me saying that ancient civilizations weren't advanced because I don't think that we think of them as intelligent people enough. Well, I think they had technologies that we don't have, but I don't think they had those the same ones we have either. I think we went yeah. on different. I paths was confused. There. They were talking about ancient Egyptians having like some sort of radiant light technology or something, mm -hmm. and that's weird. They have a flashlight. <laughs> like I was like, how, well, they had some how big batteries. What is the that? Laser beams, right? There's like uh, some proof of them like using gases to create like beams of light like that. So there's mm. some different technologies. I think they were excelling in that we don't practice anymore or that were lost to time. But I don't think that they had, they weren't on the same path. They didn't have a little iPad. They didn't have that kind of computer. They may have had some form. Yeah. But I don't think it's something that is in our realm. I couldn't really imagine it, you know? You know when they show, like, those 
the stupid things in movies of like alien computers where they're like ancient language yeah. things. I don't I don't think it would be like buttons. I like the ones when they're like squishy. Like, that was like Prometheus. Yeah. In Prometheus, <laughs> the buttons in like the, the spaceship were all squishy. That's funny. Um I feel like what if was... they're all like Star Kid? Remember okay, Star so, Kid? Remember, oh my god, uh, in a suit? Yeah. Like fucking... I remember in some of Bob Lazar's uh rants. That he talked about some of the ships being smaller, so there was like supposed to be like a three foot tall person that it was made for. Yeah, a little fella. And there was just like a, there was no, I don't think there was a screen. You know, it, it seemed like it was just like it. a metal Bob thing. Bob Lazar, oh my god, he was talking <laughs> that about that like, motherfucker. Dude, he, he, the way he, he talks about them shit. bending gravity or bending space. Yeah, but it seemed to have some sort of control. So it seemed to have like. Uh, I, I don't remember what it was. It was it was whatever controlled the the movement of the ship, you know. So there was some yeah. sort of like thing that they interacted with, but it yeah. didn't seem to be a screen. Didn't seem to be a joystick or a I ball swear, or anything just, we could recognize. They've got like a ball, and they're like in like <laughs> in a trying to study it. Huge flash! You're like fuck. We all have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I can smell oh, it. Oh damn! Yeah, they're like all right. The dogs crying. Three, two. Huge flash. Fuck. Should have done that. Fuck. Fuck. I just killed us. You know that actually happened yeah. to a guy? Yeah, but it, he had what? it propped up with like a spoon or something, I yeah, feel like. I mean, but it's still... Well, he dropped a hammer on it. Oh. And then big flash of light. What was it? A core? Yeah. Was it like a... Some, it was some... It was it was the core of, of some, some part of a nuclear plant. And he dropped a hammer... Onto the core, and there was a huge flash of blue light, and he died like what, like two days later or yeah. something like that. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. Everyone, it a was lot real of bad. like everyone. The got death up by core. The I like this theory of uh, that a lot of people that come in contact with aliens describe them as biological suits controlled by a third party, like a VR. So that could be like. Other countries using tech again. It could just be other countries using technology we don't know. Using drones that are oh life my God, biological. Just, <laughs> oh shit! I or, couldn't even deal with that. <laughs> no. So it's like, or it could be. What if Black just a Mirror. weird random? But what if every time you play a video game, you're affecting other realities? What if they look when you restart, you're hopping over from different two D realities and affecting God, the that world, would mess and me. then it's popping through. Or something. It could be a. Um, I'm just thinking. In so different yeah. Ways. Okay. So they're saying uh, <laughs> aliens. The aliens that you're running into. It's like Black Mirror with the Josh Hartnett uh, one where they have Drones. like the body suits. Yeah. This is like a bodysuit drone. Yeah. Oh fuck. We, so that that could make a little sense. But I like the idea of that. Every time you play a video game, you're actually killing people. And I mean, it's like what is universes the... are dying as you're as you're restarting? And... Okay. Okay. Well, if infinite <laughs> if universe, anything, I, possible, listen. If, if anything infinite is universes exist, then there's one where you're in a video game, right. and every time you play, okay. you affect yeah something. You yeah, see, dude. Affect in, a in, creation that had some sort of life. So. In some universe, the the world is fucking and wacky racing. You murdered rules, dude. so many people <laughs> to in Call of Duty. And yeah. in Red Dead Redemption. I've You've thrown so many. you lives. I have. I would say that you did that in this yeah. universe because those are real people that you're dragging around. So if yeah. we're talking about, you should feel <laughs> the deepest amount of shame through all of your Red multiversal shame, selves. Red shame <laughs> redemption. <laughs> Yeah, I I just you know if they have fucking mech suit aliens, just you what, don't like why, that what's idea. the point? You, why would they send that here? Just it could be for observation. It could, I know could be you for could, mass yeah, hysteria. They're, they're just flying it drones. Be, yeah, I guess it's a okay. Drone. So aliens send out scout ships. I mean, like if you think that they can't reach some kind of stasis, if they can't travel that fast, then you know what I mean? Then they would send something as like a yeah probe and control that. or yeah. Mm -hmm. Something to check it out. Right. You wouldn't go yourself. You now, know, the question would be I who just want to know. Well, no. <laughs> it, oh, so it could be us from the future. It could be us. Uh, oh, I love that. Right Interstellar. Now. Yeah. From or the it could be another. The bootstraps part. paradox. I love that. Yeah. Where there's like, I, because, you know, that, that always occurred to me when I was younger that like it could just be us from the future. Just pulling yeah. us along. Um, I love that. Now, see, yeah, because there's that theory. You go far enough along, even like the Greys. 
Like yep. we, uh, as we our would environment evolve. would change, we would all become the same skin color, have bigger eyes because the sun has started to die out. Yeah. Like, and you know, we become more utilitarian because we, we don't need to be big anymore. So we're smaller. We become and, more intelligent and that's what happens. And the brain gets bigger. So it, there is a theory that we just evolve into the grays. I like that idea. It's fun to think about, but it's also sad because you what is like the originality? I, we what? become unified. You never just see, don't it, think you never see it. Listen, like. you never see yeah. a gray alien in a cool ass tee or something. You know, some like some Paul. popping shoes and shit. Where's all the fashion? Where's all the in- individuality at that point? If we're gonna draw, if we're gonna imagine ourselves in the future, at we least, are one, and we think that gray spacesuit yeah. looks dope. <laughs> we all agree. <laughs> no, I don't like that idea. If we're gonna, if we're gonna evolve into this a similar is why, species, this is why your, still your people will be wiped out first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are those shoes? <laughs> what are those? Mean something different then, because you're gonna oh. die now. Because mm. it's, it's the new. Yeah, in the future, we're all Master Chief. <laughs> we're just. I just like to think. If oh, we got our first I, mention of the Draconians. I like to think the other way that we're not going to all form into one way. They're just going to be like new creatures that we evolve into. You know, I'd, I'd rather crabs. I'd rather it be more <laughs> random. Isn't it just everything out. keeps turning into crabs? Eventually, is that what it is? Because they're like they can just laugh like cockroaches, crustaceans. Really? They last. We're just going to turn into crab people. I know. It's just so upsetting that dinosaurs were a thing. It's just like. Why so is that upsetting? I just. Why just, does that hurt your feelings? Why does it make you sad? It's just crazy. Crabs are kind of sick, it's just though. I mean, they, crazy can, they can go that, underwater, uh, above water. You got a protection, but it, you, just, they why don't, you can't break dinosaurs a bone because have you can get out of that. You got to get a new one. So you can create baby. a new shell. Crabs are kind of sick. I wouldn't mind being a little more crab like. Well, you're not going to be. A- <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start a <laughs> I'm going to um, try to try scuttling. To build a shell that's what it around is. Myself. Crab scuttle. Scuttle <laughs> uh, What were you saying, Houston? I don't know. Are you talking about crabs? No, I no, was just talking was, about different yeah. life forms on Earth. Okay, what do you got? Nothing. Thinking I, I'm order. thinking of regressions. I'm thinking of like just previous. Oh, yeah, because of the dinosaurs. You're talking about you want Super Mario Brothers this? You want Devolve? No. You want Devolve? <laughs> no, but I was just, I don't know. What about like a gaseous uh, entity? Like an entity that only, you know. We're going to merge with AI and become monsters beyond <laughs> comprehension. <laughs> yeah. Not super chill. Um, I, I do love the. I mean, we're 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 like a hundred years from being straight up androids, though, for sure. Like Dude, downloading yeah, our yeah. consciousness, like I feel yeah, like switching over. That's, I wouldn't mind that, like to somehow like answer enough questions just to have like a program of me. That I I just I just want to be immortal, dude. There was a good scene. Oh man, I gotta show you <laughs> the show. The show was like oddly psychedelic. Okay, there's a scene in it where he goes into a bank and he's trying to get a loan. And he's like, uh, "No, this bank isn't for you." And he like shows him how much money he makes. And he's like, "Yeah, you're rich. This, but do you have uh, a body that is ready for your consciousness to be downloaded when you die? You're not really that rich, dude." What and he was, was like, that? This bank is for different types of people. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I feel like it was called Carbon Something. What? This show where it was like criminals get like downloaded into this database for forever. Mm -hmm. And then they brought like this guy and put him into it. They suit. I forget what they called it, but they like suited him up in a body and stuff. It's it's called carbon something. God, I'm so impressed. Oh, uh, you know, altered carbon. Yes. Yeah, that's exact. Thank you. That's a great idea. Oh, okay. It was called the Vince Staples Show. Have you guys watched that yet? No, I don't. I've never. Even Dude, heard y'all that. should definitely check this out because it it ends up being so. It's a lot of liminal space psychedelia. It's very funny. It's got a lot of drama in it, um, and it's about this rapper and that like goes into different situations. But it 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 really fucks with your head the way it's put together because you it kind of start you getting this false comfort of it being kind of a normal show for like five minutes. And then they'll just walk into a space of outside of their realm for a moment. Yeah, that seems unreal, and they'll just be like, "Wait, what? This seems kind of you know." <laughs> and they lean into the like the oddity aspect yeah. of the of storytelling. So it was really fucking cool. It should definitely check the Vince Staples Show. It was on Netflix. I think it came out just a few months ago, maybe. But it got real psychedelic. And it was it okay. was pretty cool. 
Yeah, that was just a year. It was still pretty new. He was oh, in he was white in dope. Dope. can't jump. The new one. Which sucked. I watched like half, or but not even half. I just couldn't get through it. Motherfuckers. But th- there's like a scene where his friends are robbing the bank that he's trying to get the loan at. Yeah. And they find him and they let, you know, they're being cool with him, talking about old times and stuff. And again, this like out of the <laughs> universe reactions kind of thing. It's like, uh, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not, it's kind of the opposite of theatrical. It's, but it's unreal how people respond to things in this realm to okay. me. And it's, it was just really weird to watch. <laughs> I but love, again, I could have just been in the right state of mind to really be looking into some shit. <laughs> I, I love know. that article right there. Which one? Vince Staples on why he doesn't mind his new rap. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind it. It's not great. <laughs> I like that. I'm too. okay with what I'm doing right now. It's, it's fine. You know, draconians created dinosaurs. Okay. The dropping some. Everyone's dropping um, knowledge. Everybody, everybody knows, you know. And so, like you'd think, dropping since knowledge. everybody knows, that it just wouldn't well, be a well, question. Well, more anymore. people would be hey, talking. You know, about it'd be it. a lot easier to believe something if everybody but me believed it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they all disagree. So it's you know shit. Cloud, cloud <laughs> Atlas, Cloud Atlantis. Same that same. was a that was a movie. Same same. But same, same. True, true. Is the truth? He speak, true, uh, he speak the true, true. I hope not. <laughs> the before four times or something, too. <laughs> yeah, I want to say that, that that's just... I want to call that racist. Ooh, Waterworld. Waterworld was kind of a quirky, fun movie. Dryland exists. I've seen it. You, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a cool. A hundred years cool from okay. So technology too. as we know it is not existing until the 1900s, and then advancing exponentially as it has scares the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for it, sh- I don't know if it should scare you though. Yeah, because I don't. If it, if let it grows, the robots vote. No, that has nothing to do with it. If the, that if it exponentially fear, grows by ten every year now or something though, it's like it gets to a point that you can't even imagine within a few years if you're like. It oh, of course. On, you know, I so mean, it's, it's going to surprise the shit out of us. Yeah. And that's why, but that's also why your grandma didn't understand the world that she left. What is that? What's that? What's your name on it there? Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't look at that. It's on a table. I, stop, <laughs> man. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? It's just Stop. a thing with a name on it. Stop it. All right. All right. <laughs> Shut up about it. Right All right. Now. I love someone that whips something out on a table and then gets mad when you ask about it. There's nothing on the table, dude. I didn't. It's literally on the table to talk about. You don't want to be connected to a computer, the surveillance. <laughs> and, dude, I have some terrible news for you. <laughs> You're you connected to a computer right now, Where's and your you're being surveilled. I don't think anyone. On? I don't think anyone's controlling you, but I mean, YouTube knows you're here watching and commenting. Man, I think that movie was called Enter the Void. Ooh, Enter the Void is good. Yeah, that shit was. I'm pretty sure it was, it was called. I listened to an album recently by Tank and the Bangas yeah. that uh, had a line in it that really stood stood out to me it was a refrain in one of their songs the refrain was and your phone is a gateway to hell oh, oh it is shit. yeah that's, it is, that's just like and your phone is a gateway to hell <laughs> and your phone is a gateway to that's hell. kind of yeah that's a little secret wayne brady there, did the like intro it. on that album too I do respect that you've been listening to whole albums because I I find that like when I'm hopping songs I don't get the same that I get out of like a story being told by a person mm-hmm. you know so I do think it's a better use of time than hopping around sometimes yeah, yeah. stop you listening get the whole idea stop listening to singles you know what I mean like really give the artist the chance to it's to, cool to you tickle can. your brain yeah mm-hmm. oh I listened to False Priest recently oh wait sorry what's that. It's an of Montreal album. I was like, wait, I forgot who I was wait. winking at. Yeah, yeah. Is, this, is, is it Kill yeah, or of Montreal? That's, that's, that's respectively our... the ones that I have with each of you that <laughs> the other one doesn't like. Connection with you, Toby. <laughs> yeah, no. Right, we can False connect. Priest is good. So I didn't know this. 
So th- when I went and re-listened, I mentioned how Janelle Monet is on a couple of tracks, right? Yeah. Um, also, I didn't know this, but also there's another song on the False Priest album done with Solange. I was like, who is Solange? Solange Knowles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. She has a song with uh, of Montreal called Sex Karma. Oh, that's the other. That's the sister, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The one that beat up Jay Z. I only listen to whole album. Oh, in the... see, when you say it like that, it sounds pretentious. Yeah. Well, so I mean, <coughs> you gotta go with stuff that you might you you know you 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 feel like you you feel like you know, but you haven't given it a good yeah. thorough listen. You know, well, seeing deep cuts are the reason I feel like it is cool because yeah. I don't normally like the the poppy single off of an album. Oh yeah, the one I connect with is normally thirteen or something. It's like an it's a bonus track that shouldn't have been on there. So, Makes me feel special. Like, oh shit. This is different. Like oh, no, you are being okay. So when <laughs> I listened you. to that <laughs> I, I that. that album, uh, "Songs in the Key of Life," I found that the my favorite Stevie Wonder song I'd never heard was a song called "Contusion." Yeah, and it has some sick ass guitar in it. It's like some jazz fusion. I don't even know what else to call it other than jazz fusion. Yeah, some of the best. Stevie ones. Wonder's sick. Are hidden, you know. Yeah. It, so it's okay? an instrumental, huh? Okay. It's an instrumental. It's amazing, though. Also, I saw a performance uh, where uh, Jeff Beck played a concert with Stevie Wonder, and it was kind of fun just to see the influence that Jeff Beck's slide play uh, playing had on Stevie's vocals. Because hmm. okay. you know, like the call and response, like he started like getting influenced by it. Yeah, it was cool. That's pretty cool, dude. I love. Uh, I heard a live version of I Wish that... I Wish. I Wish. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that. He goes, all right, y'all sing it. Looking back, you know, like the, the first You mean, song. wait, is Stop that... Stop the Cat, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the Wild Wild West song. It No? Yeah. That's what it's sampled from, yeah. Yeah, so... So, I mean, but yeah, I'm so talking, you mean Stevie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, like, he did a live version of that song, or he played it live, and that lyric was like, uh, it was like, I forget what it was. It was like, like hanging out with those hoodlum friends of mine, and Sneaking he said, out. My mama told me I Sneaking don't want to see you take door. your ass yeah. outside no more. Okay, Sneaking out the back door, uh, hanging with the hoodlum friends, yeah, those, yeah. You're like friends of mine. I thought I told you not to take your ass outside no more. <laughs> but yeah, that was the lyric that he said. We're going straight to the wild, 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 to the wicked, wicked. wicked. <laughs> the wild, wild. Um. All right. So you want to talk about this dying galaxy? You want to read this article? I'm some All science. Right. All right. So this is from Science Daily, everybody. This is March 6th, 2024, from the University of Cambridge. Science, well, we, someone in here already doesn't believe in science, right? And hey, space, so well, it's in the just, name. Let's just, <laughs> let's just give it a... The summary is, a galaxy that suddenly stopped forming new stars more than 13 billion years ago has been observed by astronomers. Using the James Webb Telescope, astronomers have spotted a <coughs> dead galaxy when the universe was just 700 million years old. The oldest such galaxy ever observed. Here's the full story. (laughs) A galaxy that suddenly stopped forming new stars more than 13 billion years ago has been observed by astronomers. Using the James (laughs) Webb Telescope. (laughs) An international team of astronomers led by the University of Cambridge have spotted a dead galaxy when the universe was just 700 million years old. What does he mean dead? Maybe they'll explain. They stopped creating new stars. (laughs) Uh, this galaxy appears to have lived fast and died young. Lived fast and died young. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. It, it, it's it, a rock star galaxy. Uh, star formation happened quickly and stopped almost as quickly, which is unexpected for so early. Uh, which is unexpected for so early in the universe's evolution. However, it is unclear whether the galaxy's quenched state is temporary or permanent. And what caused it to stop forming new stars? Well, How yeah, do they so know this shit? What? <laughs> How do they know this? How do they know all this? This is just a dude in his mom's basement. So, okay, tell me how they know the age of the universe. Just uh, as a dumb person, what I think is like, I first think of, oh, carbon dating. 
is what they use to like use old like bones, figure out like dinosaurs existed in a certain era. But before the creation of the universe, <laughs> before the creation of Earth, where are they getting these numbers from? Are they just multiplying what we know from carbon dating? Well, we know that you're in, gonna say they make it up. I love. I <laughs> well, love what, these. What, I'm an movies. idiot. I'm just saying. Baby quasars. How would you even go about? Would you just take your numbers you have and just keep multiplying them? Infinitely backwards, <sighs> dude. I don't know. I, I, I couldn't how tell you how they got the numbers. Speak they, English, Doc. I know how they can they can date wood. The universe yeah, see, is eleven. But okay, okay. The, see, ele, ele, I like that. It's a good number. You know, it could it's not be, a good number. That could be eleven's old a bad as hell. number. That's a death number. No, it's not. Eleven's a great number. Eleven. Don't talk is about the eleven. Death like number. That. Mm. Goddamn death yeah. number. Like, but it's the transcendent number. You know, death is transcendent. So, yes, one and the same. We are speaking of the same number. <laughs> that galaxy. Same 11. Okay. The results reported in the Journal of Nature could be important to help astronomers understand how and why galaxies stopped forming new stars and whether the factors affecting star formation have changed over billions of years. Maybe they changed. Maybe the way that they form... You know, like changes over time. Which, is that? Mm, I don't know. Like, uh, were they scientists making all the crazy assumptions back then too? Yeah. The first like, few, uh, you know, that's what happens. The sun just goes and dies and gets burped up on the other side just every day for forever, and that's science. <laughs> science is just what everybody agrees on. Just kidding. These no, are all confusing senses. No, science, science is, you know, you kind of. I don't know. It is it weird that, like, uh, what, you, what you got. In the last few years, so, like, I feel like science scientists always kind of used the Big Bang as, like, a big, as a start to the universe. But I've just noticed, like, reputable people seem to be leaving that out and assuming the the option of an endless creation of like we not knowing the when it started, you know, because we keep going back for, further and further. Yeah. Or the idea of like multi universe kind of things. Because I see it mentioned less and less. Like I saw it just in and I was like, oh, I haven't even heard of that in a minute. But um man, there's a they look for the oldest stars, they measure the rate of expansion of the universe. They analyze light and other types of radiation traveling from deep space. Again, it's, it sounds like you're just assuming a lot, though. You're taking a lot of data. Yeah, and you're trying to we're form data. data. We're on data. Your data's winning. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm, <laughs> we'll use whatever wins. So. <laughs> from now um, on we're for the rest of our lives. I'm gonna, we're all going to name our, our children data. Okay, so from the data we're getting, mm. it seems like... Uh, there is no definite. No, I kind. Oh, I kind of knew that, but I kind of never thought about how. Like, oh, those numbers are just assumed. Like when they talk about how many millions of years. Dude, because, we're like, fucking insects on we, a rock. He, there was no through one space, man. We're like, it's just if, yeah. Again, we're what, just throwing. We're just, not even before man. If you're talking about before the creation of the Earth, where's the documents? There is nothing. So it's like to, to assume anything past even the creation of man is kind of presumptuous. But there's anything to, past or before? Anything before. Okay. Anything past going backwards. <laughs> that's where I was that's where my timeline went. I was scooting back. Damn, Ken, you're going all in, dude. <laughs> Earth has been here forever, God. Is Earth only one Earth? Uh, save yeah. some for dessert, dude. I like that. I like that, dude. That that, that, okay. that it covers everything. It covers everything. Yeah, it does. Earth's been here forever. See that? I don't I mean, is that who I, knows? I, I, is it is that comforting? Like, do you find but comfort I don't know. in believing that, or is it like, well, that's the conclusion they came to? I know that's. I'm just curious. It's hard for me to come to conclusions. You know, that that's when that's when you stop thinking about something because that's the end, right? A conclusion is the the end of thought about a something. The blood. That's good. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. That's good. Man, I'll tell you what, man. I used to be an altar server. I had to get the blood ready. Mm. The, the, you know, they mix a. You got some some rose wine, okay. and then you got some water. You got to put the water on it. Got to yeah. You got to put that that water. You got to turn. You got to proverbially turn that water into wine. Consecrate it. Yeah. Consecrate that hope. 
I like crouton quit throwing, communion. Quit throwing water on that poor girl. Oh. Yeah. You like uh, cracker time? You like, uh, what was it? So they have croutons, yeah. and then they have the, they the flavored? Wafers. Are they flavored oh. croutons? No, they just give you bad breath. Okay. So the garlic? So I, garlic, no flavors. No. Oh. But yeah, the garlic, was, dude. I don't know. It was just special holiday time communion. <laughs> Your choice, holy man. I've never. Never? You didn't I, make them do it? No. That's like one of your rights. That's what the older people the do. Church. That's what the older ladies do. You just. <laughs> I did it left handed though. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever like get down on one knee and just kind of like hold it up? No, do you like you're do about that? to be knighted? Think, no, I don't think there's a situation where that happens. Okay. I'm. I'm really thinking. No, there's not. Did you ever take? Uh, did you ever take Game Boy to church? Had to have. Mm. I had to have. And I uh, probably got that shot. What's Should that? I? I spent a lot of time at uh, the PLC. Okay. So, but did you did you ever take... So so there were points in church where you weren't paying attention and you were probably playing no, so Game Boy? No, th- so that's what I'm saying is like, I would bring the Game, Game Boy because sick. we would have to go to the Parish Life Center and there would be some sort of event maybe mm. or people like a luncheon I'm talking about during the service during the service when, never. Oh, I would draw. No, it would never Good. be okay because I was going to tell God he wouldn't have liked that I would draw stuff a lot I would write little things and draw stuff God's not going to like that I'd, I'd fill up a notebook I'm not going to lie there used to be points when because you know, there was a songbook and uh, there would be times where I would just kind of turn right to the and it was pretty sweet yeah, where you'd be like, I, I, I did it. I, I'm. I turned right to it. I'm the guy. I'm the guy who always gets the HDMI Everybody. cable in the first time the right way. <laughs> Hand me the mic. You don't deserve it any longer. I've arrived. Yeah, they're gonna be like, everybody, turn to page or song number four fifty five. <gasps> yeah, he is the blood. <laughs> but the the truth is, they all they pretty much always start with that song. So the Pages might have been bent. It might have been just easier. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nope. Do you have anything about that? So nope. do you want to know what this is? No, I'm done with it. Do you want to know what it is? It is weirdly yes, sitting me. there. It looks tell, sketchy. Tell, tell, tell me. No. Fuck! <coughs> looks sketchy. I didn't well, want to know anyway. Jesus things Christ. Have been what is it? Marked out on what it. What does it say? I can't see that from here. What does that say? What does it say, Toby? Help me out. I can't really tell. You can't tell what that says? Block a plate. Can you read that? Block plate. What does it say? But it says Davy on the other side. It says black plate. Block platel. Block (laughs) platel. And then it says my name. Yes. Okay. What's in the box? And then it says... (laughs) That's crossed out. Then it says... Yeah, what the hell? It's it all says that that's RCA. It says gain. Check mark. It says conductance. conductance. Check mark. What the fuck is conductance? Noise. Mm. Check mark. Oh, wait. Is that a pickup? Yeah, that's what I was going to guess. You think this is a pickup? I think it's a pickup. Yeah, based on what you just said, yeah. A, you think a pickup would fit in this little box? Mm-hmm. Yep. I play... Uh, yeah. Like a, like a lipstick. Pick up. Yeah. You're wrong. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> I, can tell, I can tell we were wrong by the way you kept asking. <laughs> but, okay, so let me guess again. Noise. What did he say? What Noise. It is Check a... Mark. Gain. Conductance. Can we, Conductance. Can we guess pick up again? <laughs> <laughs> is that all we know? Uh, is it a little booster? No. Harmonica. It's a little... Um, uh, Stapler. Little it's tiny pair of shoes. It's, it's a black black plate. <laughs> what is that? Um it's I don't fucking know. It is not a fuse. It is not potted. Mm, Ken nailed it. It's a tube. This oh. is a twelve AX seven tube. That looks tiny. Oh. Well twelve AX seven are small. Tube. Okay. See I would I wouldn't have Dude, guessed what, that. What was the amp was it the blue angel you played that took a bunch of uh, tubes? Yeah, it's the one that... Holy hell, that took a lot of tubes. I remember when we were looking at them. Yeah. It took like eight? You know that that's the one. That's the one here? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. It did sound good, but it had a lot of tubes in it. It does have a lot of tubes. It's got like 11 tubes. So many tubes. tubes. Yeah. More than I've ever seen. It's absurd. Yeah. That's a Mesa amp, though. Anything Mesa makes is amazing, I, I, I honestly think. I think they're great amps. I like their cleaner. I don't like the real, real crunchy overdrive stuff. Shit. Mm. Solid state. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I had that HD-147. Wait, that's not soft state. It is just a digital head. So I yeah. feel like we got way off on the... So so Dead Galaxy, Dude, I can't next? tell you what about... <laughs> so from, so this is what I got. We so utterly early, failed on science, uh, dude, bros, I, guys. I, I, well, We're so, not talking to the right crowd for science, well, I don't think. Okay, so I don't so like this, this so guy's like name. Me. So wait, a few... The first few hundred million years of the universe was a very active phrase with lots of gas clouds <laughs> collapsing got it. to few new stars. So that's Says how Tobias it's Loser from Tobias the Colby Institute for Cosmology? Don't let that Why is this dude who fucking does makeup cuts was, hair? <laughs> why, so why is this guy telling me I about the quest, universe? Yeah, I was questioning who's making this shit up. It's Tobias Loser's making this shit up. You know it's Loser. <laughs> Tobias Loser. Loser, I hardly. It, it's a who? What would they call him? They call him Toby Loser, though. No, Toby. They would call calm, him. <laughs> calm down. <coughs> too so loose. I'm, I back this too guy loose. now. I'm too behind loose. this. I, I believe whatever this dude says. Tobias First loser. few hundred million years, of the universe was a very active phase. Lots of gas clouds. Okay, okay so yeah, to form new stars. There's not as many that, glass, got, gas clouds collapsing. <laughs> And forming new stars. Yeah, we don't know. Is it because there's black holes there? We don't know what the fuck is going on. Galaxies need a rich supply of gas for new stars. Right. And, and the early universe was star. like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Mm. I, thank you for putting in terms I can understand. Toby <laughs> a buffet. And then we had Dr. Francesco de Luengio. Prove that a, shit about gaseous clouds. I'm not a scientist. I, I'll prove but it no, to you. I'll no, make a gaseous cloud right now. I'll I'll fucking prove it to you. That's when I wish I could just fart on command. Yeah, I'll see a that visible cloud. <laughs> you gaseous that cloud. I'm fidget with it. No, not that one. You want to fidget? You want to fidget with this? Get you don't yeah. don't scratch your arm like a meth head. And I'm not doing knife. that. No, I. Uh, thank you for putting that out there. No, I I I, I cut the hair <laughs> off my arm is what I do. Don't do that. That's what I do, though. Don't do it with that knife. We I'm all not use going that to. Knife. I'm not going to. I never was going to. No, I especially knife. won't because you don't want me to. I don't even think I can open this. Hang on. <sighs> Got it. And you said, yeah, so don't. What, don't shave the my The first arms. thing that came to mind when we were reading this shit, though, was like, I didn't know the idea of uh, a universe being dead once its stars were stopped creating. That makes so sense. Like, when new stars were stopped being created? I mean, yeah, I, I haven't really thought about that uh, since I stopped playing Mario Galaxy, about how yeah. fucking planets and stars are formed. I haven't thought about that since then. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I haven't even looked into a telescope in like at least 10, 15, 10 years. I don't know. I wish I had. I wish I had it in me to get into something like that when I was younger. I wish I would have gone a science field, mm. you know? Yeah. I think I missed out on a life of wonder. No. Um, it, you know, maybe no a bit way. boring, but I think it would have been nice. I, I, I would have thought, you, you thought you would have been in space? I could see you as a biologist. Some kind of science field. You want to be, be a biologist. Field? You would be looking at fucking penguins. What? Like a creep? Like a creep? No. No, you wouldn't look at penguins not even once? I'd look at them. But that's about it. I think Dude, I, I saw this video. I would want to be doing some experiments. Yeah, we have you know? fucking extincted some animals for sure. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? Like, do you what think you that doing? there was ever a point where, like, do you think we should slow down on the dodos? We are fucking dodos up. Dodos, bison. They're yeah, so easy apparently to we low. we extincted a uh, like a a cousin of the manatee. It was mm. like a sea cow that we just straight up killed in like yeah, fuck them, the ones we yeah. thought were mermaids. Killed them all. Killed Take them, them out. Yeah, they should have you know gone more commercial with the dodo and treated them like chickens. And well, no, what happened is that they like used crazy. to fuck those sea those sea cows. 
And mm. then when the sea cow was coming They're back with like these babies. weird human, be- yeah. <clears throat> yep, that's what happens when you're you hurt sea yourself. Drunk. Nope. Did you cut yourself? No. Oh, oh here's <laughs> this back. Here's this back though. You can have this. You can. I. Mm. Ugh, <laughs> dripping. What? It's wet. Dripping with blood. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. He's got more knives. Oh, Is it still a knife on ready? Yeah. I got it. It's right Is that here. the new one? Is it the new one? No. Okay. You have Cha-cha. both of them on you? So you can dual wield? Can you do? No, no, I just got the one. This is my left-handed one. Okay. This is the uh, first one I got. Which, it, it works most of the time. Okay. Yep. What do you have to do to get it? It just kind of fixed itself after a while. Nice. It just So, like, when it would go up and it would need to be reset sometimes, like, now it just kind of just goes out and it doesn't overextend. Nice. Yeah, this is the first one. This is um, definitely the first one. That's stabby. Did you name it? Hmm? You you name it? No, I don't. You named it? You didn't name it? Teresa. Courage. (laughs) Courage. Courage. (laughs) (laughs) Don't make me whip out courage. Damn, dog. My courage on you. Dude. Yeah. No, I'm really into tea right now, though. If you're talking about comics, I'm into tea right now. Okay, that's You should a see side my step. tea collection, bro. Don't see, me out. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing knowledge. y'all, like, huh? Tea knowledge. Throw me something out. Honestly, like, I don't have the most diverse uh, collection of tea. I have, like, a lot of Twining's tea and a lot of Taylor's tea. Those okay. are the two brands that I have. But I have a lot of different kinds Taylor's from them. And Twining? Taylor's of Harrogate. Get. Is what their their long name is, but anyway, that's mostly what I drink is Yorkshire Yorkshire tea. I'll talk about some tea talk. I'm talking about Tim Tams, Hobnob, (laughs) Jeff King, (laughs) my nonsense cookies. Oh shit! Yeah, I just went to the store the other day and picked up some Tim Tam Hobnobs and fucking Jeff Jeff cakes. No, those are all good things. They're all very tasty. God damn! I got the Odie. I really enjoy. Like, I wish that we, you know. We, we would have tea time maybe when we take like a boys trip, you know? I can make that tea time. any fucking time you guys want to have tea. I'll what bring this? tea. We're doing a, a, have a you, tea have time you done boys your, trip? No, yeah. we're just going to do a boys trip, but we will find places to do a tea time. Yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll find a Do you, you want to do a boys trip? To, uh, okay. To name, 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 we okay, what, what, what's getting our feet? We what, haven't told like, him if you want to do that. <laughs> I have decided what I want to do. Yeah. Okay, but we I will found take it's somewhere. Easy. So okay, we can find something we could go roll out and roll up to you, like a gun show. It's not it doesn't have to be a gun show. I'm just saying. Okay, something like that. We could go somewhere. We could go. To some, we could go to an auction. An but I want to like zip line. Uh, okay, those I, are I different like things. I'm like just yeah, throwing out is. trips. Uh, I mean, we could go to the beach. You know, go to, go to the beach in the Sand woods. Sand fleas. Sand fleas. Where no one will hear you scream. Which beaches are dirty. So, okay, so sand fleas, you're worried about sand fleas. Sand fleas. Okay. My boy scared of some sand fleas, but he'll go stay in what an the Airbnb. What are you talking about? Huh? Is that it? Yeah. That's. I thought you were going to say more. Yes, that's it. Uh, no, I'm down to like, bucks. so we could do a short trip, easy trip, you know? A short, like a day trip? Mm-hmm. No. Nah. Day trip around the crunch. Why well, would we jump donuts. right in? Week long trip. We're gonna go Once, do something. It's gonna take bro. a week for us to get to uh, being <laughs> where to we're going. There. Well, we're we've been talking to... about doing like a. Uh, I would love to do a short series of us traveling around to musicians' restaurants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that's to, good. That's to, a fun to, crossover. I think that that would be a cool thing we could do. We, you know, we could go to Nashville and stay in Nashville a couple of days and hit all the restaurants that musicians own there, yeah. and then whatever else is like close, you know. Okay, I'm down. I'm what down. is your idea of the trip though? Because I mean, I I threw one out. We need to have great. yeah, so laser need, tag an activity. We can do a bunch of activities. I love that. We could travel somewhere and then uh, go bowling. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> My bad. Sand fleas. Sand fleas. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Calm down. It's sand okay. fleas, man. I just can't deal can't with have that. that. I cannot have sand fleas. Just not. not I wouldn't mind ever. going to uh, like uh, the the Atlanta Art Museum. The high. Mm-hmm. I would. Lo- yeah, I love museums. Okay. That's my suggestion. 
Okay. Go, go to Atlanta. Go to a restaurant. Go to a restaurant and the museum in mm-hmm. Atlanta. Okay. That's a date. You want to go on a date with me? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Interesting. Yeah. It's not what We'll I go to the Vortex. We're going to get huge bergs at the Vortex. <laughs> if I drop thought, about $200 on some crystals and five points. When I think about vacation, I think of beach or like cabin with a hot tub and a big TV. Whoa. And cigars. That sounds so dope. See, like cigars and, why did and you, whiskey what? and a hot tub. Yeah, it's the best and idea watch, ever. And then ball and shit in the woods together and get stoned. And, and fucking like... Do some weird stuff. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Don't no, no oh, weird I don't want to go anymore. Woods. But we can no have, one. you know, do the, do the, the let you do the tea time thing, man. Okay, that would be so cool. yeah, we go get an Airbnb in some town and then we'll go whatever you said. And I just ball out in the house. I just want to smoke cigars and... Indoors. Well, yeah, you know, leather couches, maybe a fireplace. I'm down. And just I'm, like down. I'm down to go to a remote location and, and not die. And just talk about some sad shit. Oh, get wasted. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> I would get. A, I would bring a cigar. Uh, no, not a cigar. Yeah, I'll do cigar. I was gonna say a pipe. That'd be cool too. Um, that seems your vibe. You yeah. should be the pipe guy. Yeah, be, be our pipe, pipe guy. guy. <laughs> just lay the pipe. Yeah, man. just be our pipe man. Not that's you know, pipe boy, right? Good pipe. You don't yeah, like get the pipe you need. Like pipe pipe, pipe man. Pipes down. That's a pipe grown man right there. That's not a pipe. But yeah, boy. no, I, I, yeah. Right before I stopped smoking cigs, like I was really considering getting into smoking a pipe. Now, see, weirdly, hunting lodge is a good. Oh vibe. my god, that's I would good, love to go hunting. It's a good vibe, though. Mm. You know, hunting trip with the boys vibe is like, you know, we're gambling on sports Someone's this gonna weekend. Get hurt. We're shooting <laughs> guns. We're drinking scotch. <laughs> I, love, I love that exchange. You ever had oolong? Monkey picked oolong is really good. And then. It's so good. Uh, a Bohemian Grove hunting lodge. Okay. Monkey because they picked their butts. Love it. Oh, I do have a couple of oolongs. Actually, one of those flower. The flower knew me or whatever. One of them is a new lawn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some new lawn noodles. Yeah, I'm going to bring. No. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't mind just going to a Thai restaurant. I remember we wanted to do. I wanted to do Let's Thai just go on out birthday. to dinner. Let's just go to dinner. <laughs> I'm hungry. You guys want to go get some food? <laughs> I think food. you guys are just hungry. <laughs> I still like the eventually, eventually. We got to start ski tripping, though, because I do like the idea. I'm going to break That's my a, leg, dude. Well, no. you guys snowboard. I'll ski. <laughs> you guys have to snowboard. Yeah. I can I'm be the ski. only skier in the in the crew. Dude, you if you the, guys start skiing, around I'm going to be, gonna be really <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. I'm just going to go like get drunk it. and not even go skiing. If you guys are also skiing, it's going to ruin. I'm going to have the worst time if you guys are all The only better lodge than a hunting lodge is a ski lodge. lodge. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a lodge kind of guy, you know? You are a lodge guy. Yeah. (laughs) Beaver, yeah. Beaver behavior. Freemason lodge, ski lodge. You know, just put me in somewhere that's like a cabin look, you know, with some snow outside maybe. With some snow outside. It's going to be kind of hard to do coming up. It's going to be hard to get you that snow-covered cabin, dog. Oh, my God. Dude, I would love to go skiing, though, for real, though. Yep. We'll it's going it. to be expensive, though, I feel like. I feel like we're, we're going to have to drop, like, several hundred dollars to what? get it done. We got, a, what? we got a Groupon. The ski bitch. trip. Go to Groupon. And we're not going to go to ski what? trip. What? Oh, my God. No. Does this are we doing no. hard plans now? We're making hard plans. No. Yes. We're just. Are you going to do it? In, are you gonna, what are you going to be doing in six weeks? We're perusing. No, so we're gonna we're gonna look for look at these. Ski lodge. What are we? These These cabins. Sick Sick cabins. All this is doable, especially that two hundred dollar (laughs) one. Look at this one. Two hundred forty seven dollars. That is a a tree house. Look at that. This is what you want. I hate that. (laughs) This is what you want. That uh, is easy. Look to at do. that. Just, it's got a hot tub. <laughs> look at this and beauty. You, it's not really look at you. Hot tub. You just OD in and that fall beauty. off that porch. <laughs> look and then at I have that. to resuscitate you. Fall, this you fall un- right into un- the uncover. Fish your lifeless That's body out of bad. this pool. That looks nice, man. That's not bad, actually. I'm taking that cowhide Dude, home. Look, That's there's also a pretty all right. Are you kidding me? I'm going to get so weird. I'm going to wear that rug as a. Coat. There's a little. That's not a rug. Beside it. That's so that cow coat. 
Oh, that thing. The, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. I'm Houston. putting that on. <laughs> yeah. Houston. We're having rituals. <laughs> you said you didn't want to do weird shit. <laughs> Sorry. Why are we in the woods? Wow. Why does it look like such trash on the outside? That's, yeah, that's it's nice. Uh, that looks uh, really good. It looks like, uh, dude, I'd be so paranoid being people, in there at night. I hate when people hang these tiny TVs so uh, high. Fucking I, tree. Yeah. I, it when you, feels like an office or something. Doctor's if, office. if you're going to have an Airbnb, put a 55 inch TV in that bitch, dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, but see, ideally, though, I'm still the TV is in front of the hot tub. So you can sit in a hot tub, smoke. We're drink, moving and watch. the TV. Yeah, if it's movable, <laughs> <laughs> we're moving the TV. I'm getting, I'm getting all uh, toaster wrinkly. oven. Oh yeah, this is just a. Oh, sh this is a oh Myers, that's oh, a good one. Stained glass for no reason. <laughs> yeah, this there's is, your there's shitter. A shitter. It's not that's very a good. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, no, it's, oh a, it's a it's a, it's a toilet. Full, it's cool, full cool, bath. cool. Okay. I thought oh, we were gonna be throwing house. fucking lie on our turds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Which now, is also see, this fine. This is affordable. This is affordable. Two hundred forty-seven dollars a night. For that thing, that's crazy. Um, and then let's Some see. Some of this looks incredible. It's that insane, looks like trash. So yeah, but we're not looking. Let's find the cheapest. So we want cabins. I want to see what the cheapest look like. Let's see. We can go up. That to, one doesn't I'd look say bad. We that look for one three hundred, hundred dollars each. Mm. We're going to look for a three hundred, and we go one night and just. No, we're going to look like, for like one fifty. Yeah. <laughs> well, then I want to go for a day or two. This is funny. Oh, no. Let's oh, we got a vacays. little guy. Got a little yurt type type deal. That's great. Okay. I like that this is just a spin in a room. <laughs> He's just... There's some hang gliding. <laughs> is this the hang gliding farm? I guess so. I think it is. Mountain View. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shack yurt. Yurt shack. You can shack hang glide yurt down shack. To, your, to your yurt. Dude, what in the fuck is this stuff? Hang this is would fantastic. Be fun, dude. I've never done that. What? Hang gliding? I'm not. I'm okay. I feel safer than skydiving. No, no not no to me. Way. No way. No. What? Really? What? Hang gliding. Yeah. You don't think so? No. It's got. It got deer here. All right. So there's this this nice place. That's not bad at all. There's Can you this, not detach from the thing and pull a parachute? There's Look deer. At, yeah, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> it's a furry deer. Yeah, Fuzzy, yeah. You're not going to uncover any Nazi knives anywhere in here. No, nope, you're no, not going to no find Nazi any. No Nazi doctors them. live here. No, I ain't, I ain't with the spot. No, really? I don't like it. You don't want to smoke a I don't like cigar the vibe. Here? Nah, it doesn't feel right. Toby needs a hot tub. He did not see day a hot scotch. tub. Day scotch. Hot tub, day deer. scotch. <laughs> If they had a bar built in, it'd be nice. I mean, all right, we're um, just saying. guest favorite in that. No, nah, don't, don't, don't worry about the guest. <laughs> Look favorite. at we that, that Mentone, Alabama. Up that looks nice. <laughs> what about this guy? Tip top Hang treehouse. On. Tip top. Dang, oh, what that's, the fuck? That's, that's hunting lodge vibe. Dude, they got a deer on the wall. Nice. A picture of it. Kind of seems tiny, doesn't it? Like, I mean, they're it, all. I feel like uh, it, I feel like Davey's gonna be bumping his head for sure in here. Oh, no, it looks just, short. No, it doesn't look that short. All right, just nice. You got you got a little area mm. here. We can we can void the. Ooh. Okay. Got too bad. Oh, guys, a good point. Hang there's on, no, hang on. You know that's no where I'll tub. be all night. There's no hot tub. Yeah. No. Loser. <laughs> and that's a no from Tobe. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> we don't like that one. I know Look, you gotta get how, it's just You want about, more expensive? You want more? What's expensive? the most expensive? You crank we it up a little bit. Let's, let's crank it all the way up. You want to see what, what the most expensive a night dude, is? We, oh yeah, we've got a hundred. Like for one night, I we could do this. Look. 300? Whoa! Look at that shit. That, that first one, one Look at looks this great. guy though. Look at that. that I mean, what in cool. the fuck? It's a tree house, I like though. that. Starry night. Let's look inside. What's happening? Look with at this. It? Look at oh, that. Not, look at tub. that down there. <laughs> Your boy knows how to Wait. pick them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Look at that. Well, that is party. a good That's picture. a party, isn't it? That's yes. I would, it is a picture. It's a good would, picture. <laughs> yeah. That's, look at I that. Let's keep checking it out. Mm -mm -mm. What's up there? Love that crow's nest, baby. What a party. 
It's a little portrait. Oh, you don't see much of the inside. Oh my god! That. You well, could, that was you just could have good all time. that. Show me the yeah. inside of oh, this fucking house. And we're wasted. That's all right. Trash. Leather couch. I fall over that. By the shit. bathroom. Ooh. Look at that. I go crashing out of that <laughs> window because I'm drunk. <laughs> That's where you eat your I'm breakfast. Just, oh, we're man. all gonna eat Look breakfast at, in the tub. <laughs> yeah, in the tub. Yeah, breakfast in the tub. That's where you lay it out. Yeah, it's daddy's see, that's favorite gorgeous, show. Man. Houston they doesn't get a robe. Seasons, man. Whoever collected these pictures, great. Yeah, that was a cool look. Okay, so it's a good look. This is a good look. Okay, all right. I let's like keep it going. Spot. Ooh, we back is, it up again. Is there a TV? A, you, know, you know, across from the. Can uh, we have a TV at the? Can you install that can, for us, please? Add a TV and we're down. Nice, love. Wait, it. We can love bring this a spot. TV. All right. Okay, that was great. That was. Whew. Give All me right. a, a nice dopamine Let's hit. Check it out. Let's check yeah. more. Uh, oh, look at that. So the most we oh, can spend. Damn, what's that big? With this motherfucker. Look at this. Are you kidding? Entire That's a whole house. cabin in Blue Ridge. Why is there a furry getting into the hot tub? Don't I, you worry about that right now. We'll find that later. Oh my god. Look at that. Beautiful. Look, look at, at that. that. Look at the TV. I, I still hate that it's so high up. Never put it your is, TV yeah. that fucking high. I want to sit across. I want to get Indians down in front of it. <laughs> Make my eyes bleed. See, there's furries what thrown the in here. Fuck. Now we have found what something accidentally. Fuck? This is a secret furry cabin, maybe. Maybe this is a low key way of being like, and if you want us to be here to fuck, or no, you can have fuck furry. parties. You here. can have, oh, it's a symbol of. You can do freak shit, maybe. Or it's specifically a furry invitation. Oh. Okay, we're getting a close-up. This is a okay. new finding. We this have is discovered interesting. something. He's playing Jenga. He, he's got a okay. bow. He's a bear in the wood. I do love the play. I feel like the place isn't real or you're going to get killed. Yeah, really <laughs> this wine oh, o'clock. Wee. What are the books? Go back. What do the books say? There's always some hidden shit, right? What's the one? Un what are they? Window, wait. Windows on the world, complete wine. Okay, Old Mr. this one. Boston? And this Deluxe. is also. Are they both wine books? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's just a, a cocktail right. book. Okay. Look at the rice. You look at the pressure cooker. Okay. You can, there's always now, something hidden in the pressure cooker. What I'll say is that I'm, I'm trying to look deep into a meaning. They were, they're in a furry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, think you it's, have to it's look a bear. It's just a bear. Deep. Don't. It's just a bear. It's not a flag. They're not signaling anything. Other I think than they're signaling. You we can have either spices. Use this house look at that soy sauce. That's a very. Or they're willing weird. to be down too if you want a furry with them. Ooh, I you know I, I like love that, I love that they're showing us everything. It's fully stocked, no fully stocked. details. Bunches of oh, glasses. Look. What is that? This is honestly too much wood for me okay, in a place. Got another bear. I would never drinking like wine. live in a spot like this. I couldn't do like the wood on everything. <laughs> I would love to be. I want to see the realtor showing this to someone and overlooking, <laughs> not talking about the furry thing, because you were just skipping by. Like, man, the wood on this thing, and it's a it's a bear drinking wine. You're like, wait, what was that? I mean, oh, they the don't expect wood. you to the like kitchen? leave it this way, do you? Yeah, you must yeah, put you it. Have to Whoa! This Whee! is see, that's strange. When you got cult. bunks, cult. That's for a cult vacation. This is for a sex vacation. Or Mormons. Or Catholics. Or furries. I mean, yeah, you got a bunch of kids up to six. These are even more bunk beds, right? I think that's all of them. I mean... No, that's a... Okay. So you got two bet. This no, is that's cool. a different room, I thought. Yeah, honestly, I... I, I um, it's freaky, though. Why is there so many bunk beds? That's... That's, that's, that's a different bathroom. color. Hand soap. Got your lotion <laughs> What do you fucking do? Little office. Do you cult business? Yeah. Okay. Here's I love it. Chairs, I have not chair. seen the hot. There was oh! a bear hunting in the woods. Oh. Go back. <laughs> you missed the one though. Oh, <laughs> see, this is how it would start in the video, or like you would go through. I don't want to stay here bear? because that guy lives there. <laughs> he's chilling. He's gonna be finding he's, reasons to this show is him up. Saying he's watching you, right? Yeah. And he's just and hanging. He's, out. he's somewhere there. in this, isn't it's, he? He's, he's everywhere. Hidden. I've had some nightmares with Airbnbs. I've had the the sink back up, and then they uh, they, were, they they sent a maintenance man, and he mm -hmm. took a plunger to it. And they're like, "Is that the?" Uh, and there he is the getting into the hot tub. Pretty clear. It looked like he was definitely taking the towel off. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. He's so dropping he's that naked. down. All he's right. chilling. So this is under the this assumption that he's been naked the whole time. 
Yeah, he's right? gonna because be he there and towels. he's gonna be naked. He's already he's, put it in your he's head. He's wet from being in the in the pool. Wet from anticipation. This is, some, this is some weird lonely CEO that just wants fuck buddies. He's like, I got this huge house. I put cots in it. Doing yoga. Do yoga. He yeah. stays sexy, fit. Sexy ladies want to do some yoga. What a, a giant garage as well. This is this is cool. My my assumption is that he goes to the garage when people come in and then like. Kind There's of a bear in the yard. In no, it. he kills people here, dude. There's a bear in the yard. It's just his calling mm-hmm. card. I think he tries to get in on some stuff, and he, he says, yeah, I'm not going to be in the house. You can have the whole house, but he's in the garage. He's there the whole time. And he's either looking at you, he slowly comes up when you're fucked up, and he starts getting a little weird. Getting <coughs> a little handsy. Damn, what the fuck did we just find, too? That's I want to see. Very random. Prices. I'm strange. Low, or like I, high to low. I, want the, I think it'd be very funny if that was just some... A realtor's like quirky thing, like oh, I'm just being there? funny. Damn, look at that! I mean, this guy is that the one you're talking about, or one of these? Oh, I didn't even see that. that yeah, that was story. crazy. I love this. This is a great Ooh. photo. Look at that dick. It's a house. Damn. You can you can walk. You can horse ride. They give you horses. Dennis, what? What were the I don't like of, this. I don't wait, like that, this spot. Check out this unfinished garage. Okay, there was an unfinished garage and three tennis courts. What was the picture of the tennis courts? Don't even worry about that. I don't know why That's I did that. A weird. Sorry, I'm clicking around all That's crazy. That's like a stock photo, right? Go back to the tennis thing. There's like four tennis courts? Yeah, this is a stock photo. So they're lying. Yeah, this is to murder you. Oh. That's a straight. There's no way. Every Airbnb. Ooh, this one. That this tub. one. This one puts. This one knows Toby. <laughs> it puts it up yeah. front. I'm like we know what you want. <laughs> you, <laughs> you dirty fuck. There you go. You dirty dude, boy. Dude, that's kind of sick. That, that, what is dude, that I do next like, to it? That's is not that's a, TV, a fireplace? But it is a fireplace. Pretty sick. <laughs> Damn, that's a chunk of a house, man. A ch- <laughs> <laughs> There's even probably so do they live in the apartment above the thing. I'm that's not into that. Saying. They they move out just a little bit. Unless just, you have full control of the main house. Have you guys seen that TikTok of that woman coming out of the, the secret wall in the Airbnb? No. Oh. Like, so the dude yeah, is like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing here? And she's like, well, what? I didn't know. She, what? I didn't what? think it was a bad. You you know, I didn't think it was wrong. House. You get the whole house. I'm just in here. And he's like, but you're not. You're. I have my daughter here. You can't. What are you doing? I didn't know anyone was going to be in here, yeah. let alone come out from behind a bookshelf. And they oh. all have these extensive garages. And again, that one's one with a little There's look all your out. leather, dude. God. Look, damn. the higher the TV, the, TV. the more upper crust you are because your nose is held so Ugh. high. Crack that neck yeah. looking at something. And uh, look at all that wooden I leather. I like Lines. the. Uh, Lines. No, Lines. go back. I like Brown. The, the banister and shit. The, yeah. like, those little uh, walking cane kind of things. Just rough, rough cut twigs. <sighs> Well, look at all stick. that blonde wood. I hate that look so much. Yeah, it's not good. When it goes into the floor. Yeah, too. I mean, honestly, I don't mind visiting. Ew! Uh, that's gross looking. It's classic. Mm. Ew. So it, it, Well, I think it came from the idea of like they've collected this wood and no, they built didn't. it. You know, initially, it came from the idea of like all of it was just uh, handmade. I do, but now it's just imitating I don't even that. know but, how I feel about it. That. It'd be fun to trip in that. Though. You'd be no, looking at all I, the all the wood grains. I would everything feel be trapped. You feel trapped in wood. Then you go outside and you're in the woods. Oh, oh dude, I like that room a lot. I this would one? be hanging out in that. Room. Yeah, this is probably the, the room. Basement. The TV's not too high. <laughs> <laughs> it's still high though. It's pretty good. I don't like when beds. Like I'm, I'm not a huge fan of when you have a door so close to a bed. So if you wake up and someone's at that door, yeah, yeah, it's not a good look. How do you feel about beds being against the wall? You uh, like it? What? Yeah. Instead of being as, where? as like in as in the middle of the room. In the middle of the room, you like a bed in the middle of the room? No, <laughs> to have oh. stuff behind the bed. I've never seen that. That's Just. not typical. You have a bed you're in the middle of your room? You're just a, I have. a quirky girl from the, the early 2000s. No, I kind of like the idea of having a bed in the middle of the room, being able to spin around like you got shit all around your table. You're going to tell me? You're going to tell me Okay, where, so my childhood room, Ooh, that the was bed was crick. like in the middle of the room. I want like I want to see what the most money will get us around here. 
You know, let me let me. I mean, it's not as crazy as I thought. Yeah, well, let, maybe we just need to branch out our search if we want to. Entire point. home, maybe specifically. Well, it's any, anytime, anywhere. So there's four hundred. Oh, that shit's crazy though. That just looks like this one. A restaurant. The one. This one. Doing. It's odd looking, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Fucking I love, love it, dude. though. <coughs> Look at open. how open that is. Love yeah. that. Love those high ceilings. Yeah, that's nice. God, we would have a pretty good secluded. Time. Dude. We would have the best time, guys. Could do some murders there if we wanted to. Outdoor Why are you, TV. Outdoor TV. There's one down by the hot no, tub. No, show God, me. Show we me. There's one par- down at the hot tub. Tell me. We're, we're, we're done. <laughs> we're done here if it's if it's what I think it is. We have found the place. You know, I would just stalk. Oh, my God. We would have to have all the stuff. <laughs> we got to have steaks. Shampoos and steaks. Shampoos and steaks. <laughs> all Lavish. the greatest things. The Yes, the mo- the finest of it's shampoos. It's going to be so good, dude. Dude, a ping, ping pong, pong pool. Okay. Yeah, dual table there. Bunk beds, bros. Bunk beds. None of us take the big beds. We just all sleep in the up. bunk bedroom. <laughs> We gotta tell funny stories and stuff in there. Yeah, we're, we're just stay up all night. <laughs> Boom! <gasps> Hot pointed yes, yes, and a fireplace that and I mentioned too. Outlets on the book. We're, we're done, done for. Sold. Let's go, guys. So how many we're, days though? For real, a week and a half. I mean, <laughs> this is a probably one night deal. Here. Nah, dude. No, we could do. We um, could do two. No, nah, this how is four hundred twenty-nine dollars a, a night. Probably a one We're gonna night. have. We're gonna have uh, three adults, and <laughs> like, we're gonna why? check in. We're gonna check in. in uh, we're gonna just do this whole week. Okay. No man. That's gonna be three thousand three hundred fifty-eight dollars. No, do it for one night. <laughs> <laughs> one. Uh, well, that seems like a lot. A thousand dollars from each of us, and that's <laughs> yeah. nothing. That's, that's, that's bringing... not stopped. So someone just bought these up, like in this moment. It's going. They saw us looking at it, and they're like, "I gotta do it now." And maybe it's someone watching. Oh, they have they a three for- night minimum. <laughs> so it's gonna be eighteen hundred dollars. So that's gonna be six hundred dollars. Mm, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Fifty right. six fifty a person. We'll come back to this nine guests, four bedrooms, five beds. I mean, if we get more people, yeah. You might want to yeah. throw in on an Airbnb <laughs> to chill in. For three nights? <laughs> Just for three nights. Uh, okay, so where's our... I feel like there's m- more expensive ones. I feel like you can definitely... I know, Plus. there's like wild ones, but... I don't know if they're close enough or if they're on here. They do the really have... crazy ones might be on a different sites. Like tiny homes, lake play, oh. tropical skiing desert. OMG! Oh, oh the hell, weird yeah. ones. This is like, in Groppen, Grop, Groppingen, kind of Germany. Potato the house. potato house. Kind yeah. of. It's, it's fun. I like it's almost like an ocarina. A stairway to nowhere. Like Ew. I like that you can't. They have one of the men in black chairs. Why has he got fucking chain link fence all around it? Because they don't want you in there. You got a bean bed. Got a little. Yeah. Orgy. Orgy bed. bed. Okay, you only have six photos of this place. What the fuck is that? Two burners? You got a big burner, little burner, and just a big. What? Is that all you got in this little bitty house that's shaped like a potato off the ground? Yeah, it's so weird. And then what? You can just yeah, look in there. Mirror houses. Those are kind of weird. That big okay. one. Okay, mirror. This one. And, the, and San Miguel. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard he's been gasped like that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that little <gasps> hot tub. Oh, Ooh, you have the brass tub. This is where I the hang out. I hang tub. out at the brass Dude, tub. Dude, you can get some inspiration. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Music this is video. Like, it is beautiful. This is for like cocaine dealers. No. No. You're gonna have like, <laughs> this no. is for cocaine dealers, dealers no? no? <laughs> Look at that man on the horse looking at himself in the mirror. He is cocaine dealer, for sure. 
Mirror, two way oh, mirror house. You told him the horse outside of the window? You can do wow. anything here. Wow. wow. Are you telling Don me there's Juan. horses here? We can it, use, is, it is an architectural can we use digest. The horses? All right, we have to try to do the accents of the places these things are. There's some quirky places. There's some odd builds. This some is swamp. in Jean Charest, France. It is house on water. It is kind oh. of like swampland, no? It's going to stink. Look so at that. Gonna, Look at the little... The, this the is little, not hot tub. It is dunk tub. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It has the wood that Ooh. I do not like. It is just... I it's do not like this. It's unstained. I do not like this. Ice, this is I think it's ice alone. math. I see little ice cubes. This, this alone out in the place, and I have lost no. the French accent very quickly. I don't, don't know it. In Calvi, France? The fuck is this? There's a video game house. What was that weird one down there? This what one? kind of thing is that? Whoa. Okay. Guys. Okay. That's, dude. Let's Gamers paradise. Look at that TV here. not being too high. See? Because they know they're going to play games on it. Oh, oh, little bug. What the fuck little, is this? What the fuck is that? Those are pods. <laughs> little, little sleep pods, <laughs> bro. Shut me in. <laughs> Close me up, daddy. Oh, Damn, my goodness. We would just be everywhere. giggling all night. <laughs> Star Wars <laughs> house, boys. Wow. Yeah. A little lofty. It'd get hot in there, though. Summertime, just everything. Oh. That looks I don't like that. <laughs> Ow. I don't like that. I want That's to change the, the color. Room. I don't like the red room. I like room. red room. Yeah. <laughs> I want red room. I like blue it room. It's blue. It's cool. blue room goo. Cool. cool. Purple room. Show you a couple different things. Got a purple room for you, boy. Is that a smart mirror? It looks like something you can tell. There's a hot tub out in the it's desert. It's in the middle of nowhere, the too. Fuck, man. Seems dangerous as well. Yeah. Seems like people know that you're going to come there. Rich people are going to stop by. And you're you're going to kill them, rob them, fuck them. Kill them, rob them, fuck them. Yeah. In that order. Woo. Croatia. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I want to go to Croatia so bad. That looks amazeballs, fellas. Uh huh. Look at that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Something. Look at that. Look, pool. look at all these hats. All these look at hats that. I got. And you know they don't care if you smoke cigars inside. That's a pretty interesting looking place. It does looks look like a GTA kind of next level it, shit. <laughs> Gonna have to rob a lot of prostitutes on the Look street. Look how high that's even. Was that, a, was that a painting? That better not be the fucking TV. That's a painting. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You just stand and watch it. <laughs> I was wondering, though. Because they've got. I would lose it. my mind. That's, that's very interesting. Cute. Love that. It's cute. Oh, weird. Cute. This is a little. Oh, whoa! whoa. Look at that slutty bed or fucking <laughs> bath. <laughs> yeah. The shoe. We've seen a lot of them with those like mirrored tiles around the and uh, around the bed and around the bath. It feels like you're gonna cut your feet Man, up. Man, I want to go to Croatia so bad. Why you want Croatia I hate so that bad? Bath or bedroom? What's Ooh. what's so great about Croatia? It's just it's beautiful. A, it's picturesque. I don't know yeah. much about it. That looks like you're in a submarine in the shower, though. I like. They're just straight up these ship houses, though. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Oh, oh, boathouse, old. baby. What oh, that shit? feels, Both that feels house magical. baby. Do a cruise Boat on house, land. Baby. It better have a fake steering wheel that I can play with, or I'm gonna be. There mad. better be a fake captain whose lap I can ah, sit on. I need big old steering wheel that's bigger <laughs> than my body and a little honker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just you just come and stay here with a bunch of other people. I hate that. It's an it's a uh, it's an on ground cruise ship. Yeah, that's weird. On the beach, just though. Just go ahead and push it you're out. You're right man. there you're right, at yeah. the beach, though. That's kind of cool. It's like, dude, you can just push that shit out. Just go ahead and be I don't a think I'm ship. ever going to go on a what cruise, What is though. that damn Bloomington, Illinois? You like the quirky, quirky house? I don't know what it is. It's an I art house. Oh, look yeah. At, look at you guys. It's not even artistic. It's this more This is 80s. like the B-52s threw up yeah. in a Gaudy. house. Gaudy. <gasps> Arcade, though, boys. NBA Jam. Golden T for sure, dude. That's a... Way. Dude, oh, this man. is dead. Dude, the arcade okay. house. Okay. <gasps> you got Super video games Mario on every TV and they're low <laughs> TVs. <laughs> I never Dude. knew that we needed low TVs on our list of things, but apparently. We're going to arcade thing. house and we're stealing everything. 
putting everything on eBay. Dude, arcade hey, houses. there for dope. a week, I bet we could sell everything without them noticing. You know? <laughs> I'm sure. Because this is the place that a guy Ooh, isn't living in the, the walls. Games. Yeah, I mean. The office. Well, okay, we oh, out dude, like Steve Willy Harvey. Wonka. Family meme night. Oh, we definitely need some games to play, you know. They have them, luckily. Yeah. With this, block this place would drive me crazy. <laughs> we though. would need some games. I would need like games. circus music. I don't like I don't like all the like this is that this one's fine, I guess. <laughs> admit one. No. Admit one. No people fucking in this those beds. Is, yeah. Is what it's saying. One per bed. Or it's telling you to admit it. Admit cute. that one time. That's cute. Moving, it's too much, man. This is, yeah, it's, is it's crazy. And there's also no hot tub. There is a hot, hot tub. tub. Literally, summoned it by asking for it. But, but I don't no want hot a hot tub? tub in this place. Does the weird person who owns this place live here? I think so. <laughs> it's always some back place he's, that you don't get definitely to Definitely always ready to party if you want. Is this arcade house the best Airbnb you've ever seen? Now, if you will take note, in the ones that we saw, like, I might. Uh, where the site, the garage had like that little place over top. We never got to see pictures of the garage and the other place. So that's, that, that's clearly where they're living. This they one, didn't though, include it. And it they is. said full house. They didn't say anything about that second house. That's a clear sign that they're this living there. almost reminds me of like the Power Rangers Command Center. That's wild. Mm. Huh. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Look like it's all, is it all treated concrete to look like wood? Maybe. Or some yeah. shit. I don't know. I think so. It's a little industrial, little yeah. little earthy, you know. Kind of feels a little it's, pretentious. It's a little, yeah, you know, it depends on how you want to feel there. But that'd be a wild place. It is Portugal. This is Gavi France. Beautiful the Nautilus. Mm. Another boat. Ooh, boat house. But that's nice. Weird. Oh, I like that. Yeah, oh, a boat up the, in the. In it's in part the, of the house. It crashed into the house. Oh, all right. Ooh, what the fuck boy. is an S pool? That's a pool. Ooh. What's a spool? Oh, interesting place I mean, I'll for give a up bed. A hot tub for a pool. Oh, cool. Oh, oh yeah. you know that's pleasing to me. Oh, it's all okay. boat parts. Weird. Just that one part is boat no, parts. No, look at all these boat whole parts. house boat parts. Boat. You're not seeing all this. Oh, you crawl in there. You <laughs> cl crawl into the nose of that boat. That's what it's they call bed. it. That's a nautical term, nose of the boat. Yes. It's an interesting place. You keep showing me pictures of vaguely the same things. Maybe there's... Oh, you can charge your car. That, is that what that is? Yeah. I think the pool is the main focus of this. Oh, that's, yeah, let's I mean, mean... God damn, show it again. Yeah. Oh. Show, show it, it from a different angle, baby. Yeah, daytime. Yeah. yeah. That's a good look. Oh, it comes <gasps> with electric bikes. Three. Perfect. 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 Let's go to France. It's almost destiny. Low, right. <laughs> Campo de Fiori. De Fiori. De Fiori. Dang. <laughs> um, go to Poland. No, no. Five thousand hey, go to miles Italy. Away. It's Boys. only four hundred bucks a night, man. If we can just get a, f we just have to get the flights. Holy shit! I don't know if I like more rooms. Uh, it comes with a kid. It comes, it comes with a little little boy by the pool. And this... Uh, do you have a blade? What? What is... No, just show me the house. Okay, little pool. Start? Yeah. I mean, that's that's beautiful. Um, okay. So Love that. I feel like this is where we would go to I write like our sophomore picture, album. The pictures are... Yes. Love this. But the pictures are tricking us. Damn, the... the, the it's not going to be... It's as, very It's artsy. just creating a feeling... Yeah, and I like it. I like um, the feeling it's but giving me. I don't me. think the place is like. The, uh, Give it a second. Just take it all in, mm, man. Just love feeling. the vibe. Look at this. Look yeah, at how. The vibe. Look at that, dude. Feels feels good. Oh, just, yes, you can Ooh. smell it. <laughs> you can smell the olive how oil. Tightly that the lamb's wrapped there. up. Oh, mm. yeah. smells like weird. Boom. It's so. What is I have it. no idea what the layout know. of this house is like. No, because <laughs> yeah, it keeps going the same thing. <laughs> I mean, are these like artsy? This is like it's really strangely the pool. Wait, artsy. There's picture. one pool. It's shown the pool fucking eight times. There is the layout there. Yeah. Not for the rent over here. That's where they live. Yeah. And what's the what's the around here? There's a Gavi Fields, which is sick. Looks like, but 
Anyway, what else? Don't... You didn't show me Norfolk. Norfolk. Any real pictures? The Roundhouse. Welcome to the Roundhouse. I kind of want to see on that last one if there was any, like, can you read people's reviews on it? Because yeah. I feel like somebody's going to say these pictures were all fake. That one didn't seem real. Totes at all. bullshit, bro. <laughs> Don't buy. An exceptional place full of charm and magical details. Oh. Small and original touches. Hiding places, hidden doors and cupboards. A place to discover all week long. Wait, what? they all five stars? No. Yeah. That's got to be bullshit, this right? From Louisville, Kentucky, London, London, Montreux, France. That meets That's our expectations. Thanks again. Robot. Um. Abu Dhabi. Okay. I would love Twelve years ago, Switzerland. Australia. Not at Arabic. Fantastic hosts. Yeah, unique place held by unique people. So I mean, you, I would go and stay there. I don't care. You know what I mean? You don't care who's, who's what they're doing and who they are? No, never. What don't don't intentions care at all. Like no, nah, no, nah, man. Life is life is a life is a definitely rich a super host journey. and lovely. Scroll down. Everyone's talking about the host. Are yeah, they they're involved. <laughs> Everyone's saying they are involved Thanks in your to, vacation. So Nadia and Walter, they're like a swinger couple that brings you out. So, you know, gets we're gonna you go all see Nadia and up. Walter. Who See, cares? Like Nadia if, and Walter's house is a dream. They're like, it's their house. Who they were cares there. If the universe As is artists, dying. they cared well, about Nadia every and little Walter detail. Walter set the tone for our trip. They, they're mentioned in everyone by name. Uh, Nadia is thoughtful. We left. Nadia and Walt, as well as their son, Jan. Jan? Jan? They're all there. Okay. Dude, everybody's mentioning them by name. Nadia and Walter and, were the ultimate hosts. Host. Nadia and they Walter's Trulio and Lummy near Casinos, the White City. It was to me. The White City. Um, Nadia. This family Walter, and home is one Nadia, in a million. Nadia, they spelled it different in that one. Wow. Nadia. Nadia. That Nadia. reminds me of what we do in the shadows. Nadia. <laughs> we're Man. the most perfect host. Even, they, uh, even if they tried, super helpful and lovely. Hmm. So they like cook you breakfast and they like get to know your family and suck your dick and had a fantastic time with the beautiful truly of N Nadja and Walter set in the midst of an olive grove. Damn, it sounds seductive. These dudes, <laughs> these this couple, we don't see a picture of them in the the listing. I'm surprised actually that they don't put themselves in the listing somewhere like that bear did. Well, they have their own like yeah, Nadja and Walter. I really let's have... check them out. <laughs> what are they doing? They don't have. Where's their page? Where's where, isn't where there like a at? the host? Yeah, page? yeah. A, a, a little learn about the host, hosted by Walter. Why is he? Why is everyone saying Walter? And where do you see it at? Yeah, it's it it's just Walter, but it's hosted by Walter. Walter. <laughs> Nine years hosting. A hundred percent of guests host. rated at five stars. Yeah, is there no page to look at or something? They have, they have a bunch of. We are all a couple of artists that made our home like the artwork for everyday living. Our house is a part of our soul, for that it's always changing, bright and full of sun. We would love to share with you the lifestyle influenced by mysterious Truyo architecture and surrounding nature. See, they made lifestyle really big. What else? We got any other signs up in that? Okay, so he's confirmed the information. He's got an identity, an email address, a phone number, and a work email. That's good. He's trustable. Uh oh, that's just translated. He speaks English, Italian, and Ukrainian. Very worldly. Mm. It's it's Italy, you know. Everyone, I I just think we found another fuck palace. I think we found two accidentally. Some weird spots. Some some fuck palaces. All right. Where you just rent and you fuck at. I so think that's what it's for. You guys, thank you for coming and learning about the dying of <laughs> galaxies and fuck mm -hmm. palaces. Nadia is a That's whore. Right <laughs> but Walter, even more of a whore. You, I am Ukrainian. Ukrainian. <laughs> I am who taught him Ukrainian. Nadia. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching another episode. And um, 
We'll be back mm-hmm. with more. Do the thing, relax. Be Do the good. thing and relax. Love us. Love yourself. Love people around you. Turn lo- hate to love. Yeah, you know, turn turn hate into love. Fuck hate. Exist. Love, love. Fuck it, hate into love. Hate, hate. Persist, love, subsist, love. exist. Impregnate. Hate with love. Impregnate.